What are you reading there, Danny Mullen? Well, I have the gift that you attempted to give to. Was it Fez? Yes, Fez. It was Fez's birthday, and I, I've we've been paying, playing like gift tag. Mm-hmm. But I finally have it here, and mm-hmm. I wanted to give it to him. You know, Fez, some would say it's a rude gesture when somebody leaves you a gift to leave it exactly where they gave it to you at for two weeks without touching it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he's not on mic. Let's uh, just stay off mic for yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Fez, but I think, Leo, that, I mean, I just flipped it open to page 64. I say you read something from it. It is as a book of full of wisdom. When you want something, Fez, all the universe conspires to help you achieve it. Wow. Fez. That's really in there? In page 64? That was page 64. Wow, that's crazy. That is the, the overarching theme of the book, I'd say. Fez, yeah. I'm just going to ask you what you want, but you're off mic, so I guess we just have to guess at what he wants. Well, I mean... Um, uh, a Dr. Pepper, you know. Um, a, heart a, rate, a heart rate below 100 beats per minute. Uh, shoes that don't hurt mm. his feet. Mm. Blood sugar levels that won't end in premature death. There it is. A mattress that doesn't reek. His accent to go away completely, so he's not feeling weird when he talks to girls. The ability to see his own penis. <laughs> <laughs> the stench that... No doubt comes from his underarms mm. far too quickly mm. into the day mm. because of the extra weight. Regardless of how much deodorant he's applied, there are many things mm-hmm. that Fez wants from the universe. And Fez, the point is that the universe is conspiring to bring you those things. It is. You, however, have to do a little bit of work to get there. Correct. And that is what is in the book is following your heart. You have to follow your heart, Fez. Your heart isn't telling you to go to the Dr. Pepper or the Twinkies. Or the, the you know the the hostess cupcakes or, or croissants the, or the loaded pistol that you sometimes pick up and examine and put in your own mouth. You <laughs> <laughs> like that. You like that. You like that. You like the suicide joke. Well, we got Barbershop Evan here. Barbershop Evan. Forget this guy who doesn't appreciate his birthday gift. If you're new to the pod, you know we used to do always. If you're new to the pod, same thing. But if you're new to the pod, Barbershop Evan is a legendary character that is a, a, a Danny Mullen friend from way back in the day, but also has been in some of the most classic videos on the in the channel's some history. That have been demonetized and are no longer. Uh, Able to be viewed. Yeah, that's Bar- correct. I mean, Barbershop, he, he might have been in a couple of videos where the N word was a flying, mm-hmm. where the N word, it spread its wings and went Gah! and flew out of the nest. I remember that. He, that might have been a video that uh, Barbershop Evan was in. Mm-hmm. You know, I was thinking about this, like, because for a while, YouTube was really cracking down on like racial humor and shit like that. I mean, I, I think that bird has. That bird again has flown, and I think now pretty much all that matters is just like trans shit. So I, I kind of Kitha. feel like it's time to re-upload picking up black girls with barbershop Evan, mm-hmm. and uh, that's racist. Oh, that was the that was Scotty Chickens. Uh, yes, one where we, how did we end end up in a what, what was it? Right Robert into the Roddy? mic, baby. We we went mm-hmm. a little closer. Yeah, yeah, right oh, there. God, yeah, oh, yeah. Gotta, yeah. See, you oh, hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it sounds good. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I just remember we we got we got kicked out of a a. Ross, you got kicked out of a Popeyes. Uh-huh. We got kicked out of Arden Mall, uh-huh. followed out of Arden Mall, uh-huh. directly into a guy's Maserati into yeah. his freaking house party. Like, like how? How do you do that many things? I remember you didn't go to the house party with didn't. me. It was wrecked. This, <laughs> these videos are now on my Patreon. I just uploaded That's Racist, where we went and we changed Negro Bar for the better. It has been changed, by the way. To Black Miners Bar. Okay, all right. Can, can we get into that for a second? Let's get into that. Okay. Let's get into that. <clears throat> There is nothing inherently problematic with the word Negro, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They weren't using that as derogatory. That was actually the politically correct term for black people for mm-hmm. a really long time. Mm-hmm. In fact- Like Caucasian. Yeah. Oh, when when uh, Jackie Robinson uh, uh, went over to the majors. Do you know what he what he played in before that? Yeah, I we do. And, uh, we, were, we were actually, uh, we were looking at a clip of uh, the unfortunate situation that happened in Oakland with a, an announcer there, a baseball announcer, who instead of calling the the uh, well, I can I can't say it, but it's it, called the Negro it, League, sir. The Negro League, and right? He called, called it historical. something else. Uh, oh, uh, do you want a guy on the air? Can we pull up the clip, Austin? Yeah. I just, feel like Barbershop. Did <laughs> you see this? No, yeah. Barbershop. This guy had no malice. It was an honest slip of the tongue. Yeah. And he has been relieved of his announcing duties. <laughs> yeah. Oh but let's check God. this out. This was a big. Uh, uh, I got a big laugh out of it. I think a lot of people did. What would I just put? Uh, Oakland A's announcer N word. That's all you have to type in. <laughs> it is an honest slur video. Slip up. It's already there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that one right there. The slur video. Yeah, uh, the yeah, Oakland, Oakland A's. A's. That, uh, oh, yeah. The short, the short will work. The yeah, short will work. Yeah, the short's going to be per perfect, dude. Phenomenal day today. Major League Museum. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Rewind it again. Phenomenal day today. Major League Museum and Arthur Bryant's Barbecue. <laughs> Arthur Bryan's barbecue, dude. I, 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 that that word was on his heart. It was it, deep in there. It was, I kind it, of agree. <laughs> it was coming out. You got to bleep that, Austin. Was, you got to you got to bleep that. Remember that? Remember? Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. Write that. Let's write that down. Yeah. Otherwise, um, this uh, well, this podcast will be very demonetized. Yes. Oh my god. So, I, I, but I get what you're saying though, what because saying, Negro and then Black Minor, it's like it's it's a not even a full step more politically correct. It's like it, a half step more politically correct. I mean, it's. Negro means black, like that's yeah. all they were doing, yeah. and so they were. So how it worked? Well, was, it was it was Negro Bar. It, I mean, it, it wasn't it, Negro. Bar. I know, but that's where it comes from. So yeah. I mean, it was called Negro Bar because literally, yeah, that's where the black folks were allowed to swim. Segregation mm -hmm. was real. We all remember that shit. Yeah. And at one point, all the white kids were out there at Folsom Lake having a good time, mm -hmm. and up the up up the way. All the black people, if you want to get in the water, you get in that water versus that water. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. Are you sure? Because uh, because I think it started out as the African-American miners hung out there. They yeah. camped there. Yeah, because that's where they were allowed to. You think they could just go <laughs> willy-nilly? But you made it you sound could... like in the 90s, white kids in billabong shorts no. were only allowed at <laughs> no, certain no. beaches. No, no, dude, in the 90s, we would go there for like field trips, like fifth grade, sixth grade. We'd have water gun fights. We're all going to Negro Bar. And, every, and it just was what it was called. It uh -huh. wasn't, no one said it and felt weird about it. It was where you went. And did you feel like you had home field advantage in those one, water gun fights? I was the only black kid in the entire school. So, yes. So, I mean, I had I had not just home court advantage. I had athletic prowess. They couldn't <laughs> catch me. That's right, dude. All you got to do is outrun the white kids. <laughs> yeah. And they're all white kids. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I feel like now, I mean, honestly, Leo and I, spent, they should probably just rename it Mexican Bar because, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's not really Caucasians or black people. <laughs> no, yeah. For the most part, no one, no one, no one gave a shit. I don't know who they were trying to appease by doing like the actually changing the name. It sounds worse now. Yeah, like it's one, of, it's one of those things where a term like they're trying to mean well, but it is like like you can't say midget anymore, right? Yeah, because mm. it's inherently. Rude. But doesn't doesn't little person sound like it's, to me? It doesn't sound great. It's worse. Well, well because you know a little person's an eight year old. Okay, right. yeah, like yeah. that's a little like little people are children. Yeah. So yeah. why would you want to be just and little is an insulting term too. <laughs> it is. I mean, like oh, you got a you got a cute little penis. Yeah, you're a little person. Look at you trying to be a person. L Little's never good. <laughs> I, I always <laughs> refer to, to everything. Good. I refer to everything that Nico does on the road as little. Yeah. You know uh -huh. I mean? yeah. Oh, that's... he's got a little beer. Yeah, oh, he's, he's throwing a little, a little fit. Right. Always. Oh, and that's it's demeaning. It's it, almost like Buddy. It's like, it, yeah, okay, it Buddy. Is, but but there isn't like a rich history of like horrible shit tied to midget. It just was the word we well, used for a type. Of... I mean, why do why does every minute midget start sweating profusely when they see a cannon? <laughs> <laughs> or a bullseye, you know. They immediately put a helmet on because yeah. <laughs> that's how they were abused. Well, they were because, all the circus because the shit, clinical dude. term is dwarfism, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. But calling somebody a dwarf sounds way worse. That's like a mythological, uh, like <laughs> the Lord of the Rings and shit. <laughs> Cast so, me a spell, dwarf <laughs> man. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, it wasn't inherently a problem. But you can't say that shit anymore. It's yeah. wild. You're right. This is you're really bringing up a good point here, <laughs> and you can tell like. the The term African American had its day in the sun, where that was the term. But it's then, bullshit. Then they tried to reclaim it and go black. I, I, when I said they, that sounded kind of problematic. Um, but like, who do you now, mean they, Danny? I'm sorry. Now it's black with a capital B, which seems a little bit too much. Like black with a big B. It's in part. Uh. Now I don't love that either. But you can tell at the the place we went to, Negro Bar, formerly yeah. in Folsom, by my hometown, which they have now renamed Black Miners Bar. The new sign is like a plastic plaque they put on top of the old one. So I think they did that to keep it temporary in case politically things change a lot in two years. Yeah. And there's a new term that's. OK. All right. So so my question is in, in, in general. Yeah. How far like because you said the political correct term is African-American, yeah. which mm -hmm. I think is nonsense. How Not anymore. It used to be. I mean, now well, it's black. It should be. Yeah. Right. How far removed. From your from your source do you have to be before you're not associated with that anymore, right? Because, mm. once again, African-American until, what, like a few years ago, that was the term. We, yeah. I have never set foot in Africa. In fact, do you know how far back 
in my genealogy, I got to go before somebody was hucking a spear in a line. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 generate. We've been here for a uh, long at a, time. At a line. <laughs> so it was for sport. It wasn't even for the meat. No, it yeah, was just for sport. That's how your balls dropped. It was for your manhood. I like, get you, it. I get you it. fought a lion. You made a, made eye contact with a lion if you want to be a man in this tribe. It's <laughs> a <laughs> long line of warriors. I didn't know that. Spartans know of it. Africa. It's good. How Do you know how long your lineage goes back? Yeah. So actually, we, we know we know actually which plantation we came or, or what, which part of the country you came from. Tell so, me about that a little bit. So first and foremost, my grandmother, who I you know, met and loved and whatnot, her mom was a slave. That is how recent slavery was. My grandma was like, yeah, my mom was somebody's property. And wow. like, it, we're like a couple generations removed yeah. from you being able to ride a black person to work, Danny. Wow. Like it, <laughs> it's a, I mean, well, it's I, I'm trying recent. to save the environment. Exactly. I want to use fossil fuels. <laughs> Gotta go green, bro. <laughs> but, uh, so, so we're like from like, like, like the plantation out in like Louisiana somewhere or whatever, right? And okay. we made our way down. Uh, both my mom and dad's side of the family mm -hmm. are from like uh, Oklahoma. So like that's mm -hmm. where they went and mm -hmm. then they just kind of migrated this way. Mm -hmm. But like, so, but the generation to generation, most white folks that I know, ask them how far back they got to go before one of their like immediate mm -hmm. like family members was, oh my, my grandpa's from Germany or, you know, somebody's from Italy or whatever. Like usually a couple generations. Yeah. It's a long time before somebody in mine was yeah. from Africa. Yeah. If you if you look at anybody in Australia, right, they're all Australian. Like Hugh Jackman and you know Margot Robbie, they're all. How come they're not called European Australians? <laughs> I mean, right, it, and that's a young country. It's only a couple hundred years old, right? I, right. I, I totally agree because to me, like the last time I identified publicly and seriously as an Irish or a German American, well, the answer is never, never. I only do it for comedic effect. <laughs> I do, however, ride Leo constantly about being a filthy wop. Yeah, I mean, my grandfather, <laughs> my grandfather on my father's side was born in Italy, so you know. See? Yeah, there we case go. in point, That's ladies it. and gentlemen. You so, can call me a Guido, a WAP, a oh, fucking Guinea. I've been you calling you that this whole time, bro. You just hey, haven't heard me. <laughs> I love it. I love real, real low. He just fucking he hate wop. watches the videos. <laughs> and he, just, he just says <laughs> WAP I'm, carved I'm, across his I'm, TV I'm, screen. I'm either <laughs> screaming at my screen, sweat profusely coming down. Fuck yeah, this WAP. Uh, a lot of, lot, of, lot of deep rage. But no, I'm just saying it's like Australians have been Australians for a long ass time, right? Mm. You don't, you don't, they don't get called where they come from. You yeah. don't. So it's it's strange. So the hell do I got to get associated with a continent I've never set foot on in my mm -hmm. entire life? What would and you like to be called, Evan? Please. All right. Barbershop like, Evan. I, it's good for business. Thank you. Good. I don't see color. You, we shouldn't see color, and we should just call everybody by their name. F that. There's color. Okay. Okay. Color exists, right? Because pale is gross. That's, can we admit that? That's I like that. Yeah, that's true. Austin, get I some fucking like, vitamin D, some asshole. Vitamin D. Get no some vitamin D. Yeah, Fez, you've had enough sun. Get some um, green juice. Yes. <laughs> that's what you need. No sugar in it. We're going to have Barbershop Evan, actually, because he's so good with the shears, we're going to mm. have him give Fez a drunken haircut. Can I please gotta keep have him. at least one more? I want to make sure that it's real Two good. more. Two yeah. more. Two <laughs> more. All right? Two more. I, I know, Evan, out of the bottle. Two more. You're the kind of guy who finds inspiration at the bottom of a glass. So, yeah, I, I think you have two or three more. Don't we all? Don't we all find a little inspiration I at the bottom of a glass? Inspiration, I find inspiration and fat women at the bottom. Bottom oh, bottom. that is a great yeah. point. Dude, it's they shocking. look so much more fun it's when you're amazing, hammered. It's isn't it? They look like a theme park. <laughs> they look like Disneyland <laughs> when I'm hammered. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like when you would go to summer camp and they have the, the hippos at the Jungle Cruise. Yes. Jump onto. <laughs> like, that's yeah. how it feels when you see a fat chick. There it is. Hammered. It's true. Yeah. It's true. I, I was thinking about that recently. Because I've been trying to decide lately what my relationship to alcohol is going to be. Because I've, I've decided that the only reason I ever like to drink is because it makes hooking up with subpar pussy more fun. It does. That's the only reason? I mean, that's... <laughs> yes. Cause, cause Basically, it, I yes. Like any dude. pussy, though. Yeah, why just subpar? It makes great <laughs> pussy <laughs> fucking way better, oh, too. always... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. any pussy is better. win, bro. Yeah. It, what? And the inhibitions to the win. I mean, that's really what it does. When I'm hammered at a bar, the first thing... I'm not even going to say necessarily woman. The first thing to show me any attention is going to have my lips on it That's awesome. very soon. Yeah, so he takes yeah, yeah. a few shots, and then it's a race to his belt. He just does this, yeah. yes. and he's like, the first one who do gets it. here wins. Yeah. I, I will sometimes <laughs> go out to bars when I do go out, which is pretty rare, and I will be back at my hotel room at like 9.38 p.m. because a fat girl winked at me. <laughs> See, okay, look, I, when, I, when I get drunk, 
Uh-huh. My standards don't drop uh, like everyone else. Really? And Evan they, is they, a pimp. They, I went out with him. He is a pimp. They dissolve. They dissolve. <laughs> they go away entirely. What standards? What are you talking about? Yeah. Does it have a heartbeat? Like it's yeah. it's a it's like an unguided missile where it's just like you know the. It's just going around, and it's mm. going to connect with something. It's why, I mean, a lot it, of people talk about it, but it is it is the reason that there are no school, sh- or shooters in general that are females, you know what I mean? Because yeah. any girl, any most women in what L.A. About, the chick who shot up the fucking Catholic private school trans, in Tennessee, the trans, trans. activist. So she had, they put the testosterone yeah, in her. So That's what like, fucked it up. That's what count. fucked her yeah. up. Let's go. What's up, guys? Wanted to interrupt uh, the pod quickly here to tell you about one of my favorite sponsors. It's ShipStation. If you don't know about them yet, they've been a a longtime sponsor because they're awesome. They save you money if you have an e-commerce business. All right. That's like the nitty and the gritty of it. If you have an e-commerce business, if you're shipping stuff, you need ShipStation. All right. There's some facts about them that I just they're hard to kind of look out like to get over or to like like uh, kind of. You know, you hear these things and you know that this is a good product. 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. Do you guys hear me? 130,000 companies have used ShipStation. 98% of those companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Do you think a, a bad product would be able to have those numbs numbers do you think a product that isn't phenomenal would have these numbers the dashboard is easy to use it gives you the best rates for shipping for example let me tell you let me give you some more math i like math you get discounts up to 84 percent off of usps and ups rates do you hear me 84 percent off of USPS and UPS rates. It's a no-brainer. Um, it's the calm before the holiday storm, of course, though. You know, you guys are, uh, if you have a shipping, anything that you are shipping, the holidays is only going to increase the stress. So just tone down the stress and increase your profitability with ShipStation. If you guys haven't tried it yet, if you have any sort of e-commerce business, this has this is a must. It's a complete no-brainer. Now I'm going to tell you what they got for you from the for LDS. Uh, set your business up for holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code LDS today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's a lot of shipping, man. I got my entire shipment of Octopo rings done with their trial, which was very kind of them, and I love ShipStation. That's sh- shipstation.com code LDS. All right, one more time. Go to shipstation.com and use code LDS today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. Check it out. They're one of our best sponsors. We love them, and they're a great product. Peace. Now, but yeah, almost like if a woman really wants to hook up with, let's say, either one of us, if... Or let's say, Evan, let's say we're all, if they just came to one of our shows and kind of heavily threw themselves at us, they could get what they want. Probably. Pretty easily. Yeah. That's, that's, this man speaks truth. Yeah. We couldn't get, <laughs> even, on my we BAC. couldn't get within a hundred yards of Lizzo. Did you see what they did to you when <laughs> you were trying to get on stage? <laughs> Insulting. Purely Dude, insult. they took you backstage and almost beat the shit out of you. They wanted to. And I wanted to put my tongue on like, that like big, beautiful people, black woman. People on staff or the, the the followers the the minions staff and he's oh, exa- staff, he's exaggerating yeah. a lot yeah. they were actually very kind and led me out peacefully he was heading towards the stage though and they didn't want to let you get near that that beefy chick you know? <laughs> no they didn't want me the bbw big no. beautiful woman i think we oh, could yeah. be i think that's another thing we can do now the taboo around racial humor is dissolving i think the taboo around making fun of Lizzo is likewise out the window. Oh, because well, she canceled herself. Yes, oh, heavily, cool. heavily. Yes. I mean, she's on Danny the Mullen block. on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you better imagine Danny just be like, Dino, eat that banana out of that woman's pussy right now. Eat it. That's fucking Lizzo. She did that. <laughs> Seriously. That's incredible. <laughs> People yeah. cooperating that story. She did it. Yeah, eat that f- banana. <laughs> <laughs> you, can hear, you can hear the fat in her voice. Is she <laughs> 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 banana. <laughs> 
Also, <laughs> just fat shaming, fat shaming other dancers. On when first of all, the entire idea of her tour is show. to yeah. have fat dancers. But I guess one of them was fucking getting too fat, and she said, "Hey, listen, cut it out," you know. <laughs> and th- I mean, I can't believe that those. And uh, she's getting sued for a third reason fat. too. Exactly, <laughs> she's getting sued for a third reason too. I think it's time for her to meet the samurai. Uh, <laughs> I need to know immediately what the samurai uh, is. I was we were heavily canceled in 2021 because I went on a rant about how the only redeemable part of a fat girl is the upper half mm. because they have big titties. Not always. That's Not always. That's a problem. Well, have you yeah. ever seen a fat well, that girl was part titties? Of, that was That's part, part of, of the, the That was part of the rant. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> where the samurai sword comes in, Evan. <laughs> If you know what I mean. So I, I the unfortunate have, part of the rant, he it, was on one that day. So now that. I'm saying people who want to cancel, I'm yeah. saying that the samurai should be applied to Lizzo. Just Lizzo. It just because because of what she's done to the fat community. Come here, Fez. I care about the fat community. Yeah, look. This is see, this is a guy who's hefty on our channel who I have not made Give us a, a banana Give out us of a spin. Twirl, twirl. Twirl. Give us a spin. So this is me sticking up for the fat community right here. But I did say, Barbershop, that if the boobs didn't extend past the belly, that a yeah. samurai should do something with a katana. Yeah. Um, like, was, was it like a, t- a 12 o'clock maneuver? It, were there angles it, involved? It, it was half, a... Half. Imagine, <laughs> imagine a guy with a really sharp kitchen knife uh, dissecting a grapefruit. Gotcha. Right through the middle. Fruit ninja. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Separate yeah. the halves. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Discard. That's kind of what he wanted. Desirables. That's what he wanted to do. But I'm I curious. was not serious. No. How long have you known Danny Mullenham? Um, so I met, I think you just turned 21. So wow. I'm a couple years old. So I was 23. I was like 23, oh. 24. Yeah. Um, and so. Uh, 2010. Yeah. My 21st birthday party. So no. I'm so I met yeah. What's your twenty first birthday? I'm in New York or no, Vegas. So so we have a we have a mutual friend in uh, in common. Uh, his name is Kevin, right? Mm-hmm. Good dude. I meet him randomly in Havasu for spring break. He and I like go on like a four day rampage and we get wasted. It's like, bro, you're from Sacramento. We need to kick it when we get back there, and we actually do. We actually you ever made plans with somebody on vacation and then you just never do it yeah well mm-hmm. for some reason we did and we actually started hanging out on a yeah. regular basis uh, uh, you're probably pregnant i'll raise that baby I yeah swear. i'll yeah. be there for oh, you yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. i got you i made those plans he was come. like one of my buddies he's like he's got a uh, he's got a timeshare uh, like i think your uncle had a timeshare yeah, right? yeah. and uh was like yeah he's got a spot for us to stay at we're all gonna go out there together and it was me him and Artie. we drove we Mm-hmm. This is back when driving to Vegas was still from Sacramento, Ugh, which we do it from hours. here all the time. We do it from here. <laughs> but yeah, any drive over six hours should probably be flown. Thank you. Yeah. I have a four hour rule. Any past four hours, I'm on an airplane. Screw it. I'm not. Vegas is from L.A. is a very annoying drive nowadays. It's just it's just increased in traffic tremendously. It's um, it's a five and a half hour. But if you like, time it right, if you like don't leave right now, it's OK. Yeah, it's like two and a half, right? No, it's four. It's, it's four? a solid four Shit. if you leave when there's no traffic. But it mm-hmm. goes up, like Leo said, quickly. Yeah. In L.A., if you yeah. leave past 1 p.m., you fucked up. Damn. It's true. It's it's it, that's changed through the years, but right this this is like in the last five, I'd say. Now it's just like you can't leave after one. God damn. Yeah. yeah. So, but from Zach, nine hours, eight eight. If you're me when I was in my twenties, yeah. But we took the three fifty Z out to the Mojave Risking Desert, it. going one hundred fifty miles an hour. Right. I was a um. I was a very reckless person in my twenties. Uh-huh. I bought a, I bought a Suzuki. I bought a, I bought a Suzuki Jixxer six hundred. Mm-hmm. And flipped off my motorcycle doing wheelies because I thought it was oh, awesome. My God, uh, <laughs> the amount of stupid shit I did and survived yeah. into my thirties is and that's so funny because I've come to that realization too. Uh, like once you get past kind of I don't know thirty, you kind of realize like, damn, uh, people do die from stupid things For all real. the time, and that's, I have just been lucky been roll, to not be one of dice. those people. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop rolling the dice. Like uh, I feel like even. When I first was driving, Danny, like, I remember I got a speeding ticket and a Mustang with Danny and Nico in a car going up to do the parade video in Sacramento. And then I remember, like, I was like, what, what am I doing? I got these two guys in my car. Like, I should be going this fucking fast, like, on a free, you know? Yeah. I, yeah. Now, I've, I've really, like. What's the most dangerous thing you've done, Leo? Probably, probably in a car, probably going, like, 110 in a Camry, a shitty fucking Camry, <laughs> like an idiot when I was, like, 20. Because of how shitty the car was, not the yeah. speed. Oh, he, yeah, heard, yeah. Uh, he heard a 24-year-old with low self-esteem wanted to blow him in Fresno. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it another two hours. <laughs> 
smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I can tell you right now the dumbest shit I ever did in yeah. a car. Uh, go into the. I was 19 years old. Well, like, I want to talk about that Vegas trip, by the way. But continue. Oh, but continue. Always. We so had to come back to it. So, so the dumbest shit we did was we got eight people. We had two cars, and eight of us ever poor. I'm 19 years old. We had one friend who was 21. We have enough money to buy one handle of Smirnoff, and so we're sitting there in our car. And all four of us, the driver's drinking, all four of us were smashing this bottle in like a jug of juice. So what happens is the other car, is they want to get drunk too because they threw down on the bottle. So we're on I-80 going like 80, 85 miles an hour. And we start trying to match speed on the freeway, right? Uh. And so, so we sit there and I got the longest arms in my car. My buddy Jason's got the longest arms in his car. So, so one of my boys tries to grab my legs and I hang out of the freaking window. Out of the window no. of the car on the, going 80, 85 miles an hour. 90. Why did you guys just slow down a touch? Nope. <laughs> hey, did at, you guys have at, just both gone no, no, 60? No, no. Speed up, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh yeah. my God. So I literally, if we're doing, like, we're, like, we're like matching speed, I hand the bottle over, but then I got to go back and then I got to grab the chaser. And I oh. hand, so he's reaching out of his car and I'm reaching out of my car and we're like doing a handoff on the freeway flying out towards some, some random ass house party. Long story short, uh-huh. we did this three times back and forth oh. on the freeway, flying while everybody's getting blasted. Damn. And I'm like, no cops saw this shit. Yeah. There wasn't that like bump of the road where someone like take the quick jerk and you get yanked out of your car. Like yeah. the amount of things that could have gone yeah, wrong, wrong when everybody's dead. Right. The door <laughs> opens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A door could have opened. Especially you, when you're hammered too. On the third pass back, that's yeah. when it gets, that's when you overestimate your ability as an acrobat. No, it's, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. No. It's the it's the invincible nature. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna yeah. die. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying, like the chances of you falling onto the pavement at 80, <laughs> ex- they go up with each swig of the bottle every time. Yeah, I say. I'm sure that house party in the outskirts of Sac was worth it though. Of course it was wet. Yeah, dude. Yeah, out in freaking Watt Avenue, South Sac. That's the way to go. You want to go? Really? And, and they, <laughs> some I, good times. I went to one of those parties on Watt Avenue <laughs> when I was maybe 15 years old. I don't even know if I hit puberty yet. And I get there, this little suburban white kid. And an older guy I know took me saying, like, hey, I heard there's going to be chicks. We get there. All these hood-ass dudes repping gang bandanas <laughs> are almost coming to blows. And a mediator has to get up on a chair and give some version of the following speech. Hey, everybody, you need to settle that shit down. Because tonight, I don't care if you red or if you blue. Let's fucking party, man. And, and, the end of and I was like, where the fuck am I? And what? can my dad pick me up and take me home? Did it work, though? I did not see a gang fight for the rest of the night. Then that man is a goddamn charismatic <laughs> monster. That It must be acknowledged he stopped a gang, a gang war in the spirit I can of see Evan do it. I can see Evan doing a move like that. <laughs> no red move. We're purple tonight, everybody. <laughs> We're joining our shit together, Wait, so bitches. There was, there was a lot of black dudes on the outskirts of SAC. Shocking. This this I remember being more Hispanic okay. and ghetto white. And this wasn't really, but he probably still used the N-word because ghetto white dudes and yeah. ghetto Hispanic dudes use the N-word. Ghetto white dudes are the most, in my opinion, the, the what I fear the most. If I'm at a party in the outskirts of anywhere, ghetto white dudes yeah. are the ones that I think are risking it all. More they have something for, to prove. They have something to Proof. They're like, you want to test my gangster? You want yeah. to test? Yeah, it's not. I told I told a story on my Patreon live recently about me getting in a fight with <clears throat> a five foot five ghetto white dude with an Oakland Raiders hat at a party because I went up to him and we were taking shots on the counter. I put my arm around him like, what's up, dude? You're the man. And he pushed me off. He's like, I ain't gay dog. I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. And it turned, and I couldn't believe how shitty he was being. So I just kept laying into him until we went out back. And what happened was it was a it was a lawn, and I did jujitsu at that time. So I just kept taking him down and getting him in the most compromising positions possible. <laughs> Full back control, hooks in, him flattened out on his stomach on the lawn like he was about to get raped. No <laughs> recourse, no way to get up with me just wailing on the back of his skull with my fists. But then his buddies would keep stepping in and breaking it up and resetting us until finally... All of my buddies who were there, which they they occupied the championship Casa Roble football team. Oh, oh wow. Shit. There was one year where Casa Roble football made it all the way to the championship. Damn, that. the state oh, championship? Something yeah. big. Something wow. big. They had to beat BV to do it. I remember that shit. It yeah. was 08, yeah. and they were giant. These were all the kids that eventually went off to die in Iraq. <laughs> Really? On the O-line, juice linebackers. To the they were all on juice and cast, I swear to God. Really? White dudes, yeah. big white dudes. And they just finally got sick of these fucking, like, 
thin mustached ghetto white kids breaking up the fight and Zach Hackett. I think he was the running back on the team, just picks up one of the random spectators, lifts him above his head, and slams him into the roots of a fucking mulberry tree. Oh, my God. All oh hell breaks shit. loose. Those guys got the shit beat out of him. <laughs> like, I was having fun with my guy in the one-on-one -on -one circumstance, was but then he, it turned into a gang brawl, and those guys got Your fight was skill-based. And what people don't seem to understand is skill is impressive, and it will always hedge your bets in any one-on-one. -on -one. But at some point, Raw power mm -hmm. is a shocking trump card. Totally. None of those guys were taking jujitsu. They no. were just football players who were all testosterone up. I'm like, I'm oh, not yeah. going to fight you. I'm going to pick you up dudes. over my head yes, and yeah. slam you into something. And yes. it's going to end the fight immediately. Oh, yes. So God. I have a lot of respect for the fact that you got good. You learned a skill. Yeah. Mm. But also... If a big enough guy just grabs you and lifts you over his head, yeah. like you could really try your hardest. But if you had to try to take Shaq down, yeah. Shaq has no fighting skill at all. But uh -huh. if he just got a hold of you, just squeezed, uh -huh. it'd probably end it very quickly. It's like um, <laughs> it's like I'm the guy who worked my whole life writing scripts to get into Hollywood, and I got this great screenplay idea. But the studio chooses some other dude because he went to USC and his dad works at DreamWorks. Yeah, it's, it's actually like another girl who's a lesbian, and uh, she probably has a nice story with a lot of minorities in it. They'd pick her before your story. There you go. Now, that's the new nepotism. Yeah, that's is, different. Yeah, that's, but, um, hey, that's favoritism, not nepotism. But Disney, as you said, has stepped back from the culture war. They're so stepping back, baby. I think LGBTQ Disney, plus IA no, twin spirit script. Disney by, just made the freaking black-ass Little Mary. What are you talking about? They well, just announced, though, they that just they're going to step back from the yeah, culture Yeah, they're, 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 they're going to stop the culture wars is what they said. Oh, that, so. like the, 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 um, you know, making everything woke. You know, yeah. yeah. They're making everything, like, putting in, changing they, the stories, they, per they se. They turned Robin Williams into Will Smith. Yeah. Okay, that's... Yeah. <laughs> I Something don't know if like you that. saw exactly, Aladdin, yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. I mean, and no, and I, I, look, here, here's... It's more than just that. The bottom line is everybody wants to be on the right side of history, right? Mm -hmm. And the things they're willing to do to be on the right side of history... Make Buzz Lightyear... Buzz Lightyear gay, for example. Is <laughs> yeah, that exactly. really... You want to be on he that side? He wasn't gay, but his commander was. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear is not... <laughs> Buzz stop. is a gay Buzz? name. That is Buzz. a famous... Isn't that the astronaut that made... Wasn't that the Buzz first Aldrin. guy? Aldrin. And yeah. Aldrin first was number guy? two. Lance Armstrong was number one. Lance Buzz, Buzz was number two. Number two. I remember him. Nobody gives him any credit, but I remember second place. Second place is still pretty good. Mm. Why okay. don't you give Buzz a no. fucking Hummer then, homo? No, Are you, no, okay. no one remembers second what place, you that? goddamn liar. Okay, who's the second fastest man in the world? Oh, uh, I know it's, dude, I don't know. Who's the second I, I know fastest Usain swimmer in the world? Bolt, dude, yeah. I don't know the second. Who's number, who's Michael two, Johnson? So Michael Johnson? I don't think it's Michael Johnson. was in the 90s, and he was number one. Well, Maurice well, Green, like number two. Maurice Record Green, wise, now he's like know. 80. But, uh, that's probably that's true. Like, that's another Jamaican. Yeah. Okay, it's another you know, Jamaican, I know that. After, after Phelps, who's who's the second fastest swimmer in the world? Uh, there was that white guy. Mark Spitz. Ian Thorpe. I don't know. Ian Thorpe's Greg Luganis. Large anus, that is a diver. Greg Large anus is a diver, and he was gay, dude. Yeah. Elegant. Yeah, gotta, I'm, I'm bringing this it's... back. I'm bringing this back. Leo and Barbershop Evan are enjoying themselves some drinks. Mm -hmm. oh. By the way, I like how Evan had this spiel about, like, I used to be crazy in my 20s. I used to be crazy. It's Monday afternoon, and he's drinking out of a bottle of Kettle One. You know, Danny, we all we just, <laughs> we just know that life is finite, baby. So, Evan, we're in Vegas. Yes. We're in Vegas. 21st birthday, Danny Mullen. Wow. And I, I remember that me and Kevin Maxfield, the man who, that's who introduced us, I remember he and I double teamed a streetwalker. Oh, oh, yeah. I've heard, we've heard that story. Camera. <laughs> Whoa. Showed, that was my introduction to Danny was him what? literally on camera. He was like, hey, what is something cool? And I was like, <laughs> obviously, what you got? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's Kevin's ass. Oh, wait, What? Who, what? And I was like, oh, Damn. I just saw two people, one who I know, one who I don't know, butt naked, yes. going to town on a random, okay, what 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 quality level uh, would you say this particular escort was? Uh, like if we're if we're going tears, Danny, what would you what would you <laughs> she, how much was this one? How much was she worth? She looked like a female Evan <laughs> if he'd done meth for the last 10 years and oh. had a bunch of babies. Jesus, you fuck her? I got blown by her. Okay. And I, I remember this was Double an important lesson. There. She was African American, which I think right there gives me. I think it's proof that I am not racist, and that those yeah. videos I did with Evan in the past were not racially motivated. But you're only verbally a piece of shit. Not that's internal. right. That's right. Internally, not, my soul. He's a good not in your man. heart, bro. Not in your heart. But he is a good man. I, so yeah, I'll, I'll tell this story. But then the payoff of that video is fucking hilarious. But this is what I'm talking about, yes. man. Yes. 
I we were at the center bar of the New York, New York, because I, we were such Vegas retards. We thought that the, the hip place was the center bar of the New York, New York, <laughs> which I can assure you it's not. <laughs> it's a family resort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is a family yeah, resort. They got all the rides there and shit. And yeah. then, but there, it's a family resort plus at least one hooker. So this hooker saddles up next to me, and this is what I was telling you about, like how I am always the guy to leave the bar before 10 p.m. with the first piece of trim that'll have me. Mm-hmm. Well, this girl <laughs> saunters up next to me and starts making it abundantly clear she practices the world's oldest profession. <laughs> I, not only am I not turned off, I keep trying to kiss her on the lips, Ugh. which eventually she allows, because I'm sure I'm one of the better looking clients she'd had that week. And I, I get her back to our the suite that my uncle hooked us up with, which was dope. It two, was super nice. It was like an apartment. Yes, it was nice. Two balconies. What? Three bedrooms. Really pimp place. It was nice. Uh, rest <laughs> in peace, my uncle. He was a great guy. He was uh, clipped by a car while he was riding a bicycle. It was quite tragic. I didn't know that. Holy shit. Quite tragic. But hmm. we no longer have the hookup on the polo tower room. <laughs> He said, bottom, bottom line. <laughs> bottom line as far as our longer. podcast audience concerns, he was a great guy, though. I really do. Yeah, he, he was, was a great fucking uncle. I love that guy. But we get her back to the room for something so absurdly cheap. It, it was between $50 and $150. And I want to say it was closer to $50. Damn. To come back to the room and take on both me and Kevin Maxfield. Two 21 year old dudes in their prime. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Studs. All juiced up on testosterone and liquor. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, exactly. yeah, and, yeah. and both of us with very unimpressive cocks. That probably made her night easier. <laughs> yeah. At least to get her jaws around him. But <laughs> we, yeah, we film this. We're having a great time. We're going back and forth, balcony to the bedroom, just rocking out. And then the next morning, because I, growing up at Orangevale Open, I didn't have a whole lot of black friends. So I, I wasn't sure how to reach out to the black community and and endear myself to them. I learned the next morning when we saw a buffet table of like 12 black guys, just big, strong, athletic, the kind of guys that would get typecast in a 90s comedy is the scary black guys. Sure. They're next to us at the table. I've had myself a couple shots of vodka that morning. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to break the ice. I pull up that video of me fucking the hooker with Kevin Maxfield and just turn it to the table wordlessly. Oh. And ju- they erupt in laughter. They loved it, yeah. Just covering their mouths, yeah. like fucking whacking each other on the back, just dying laughing. Dude, and, and, and we've seen in stand-up that it is the black man and woman and Latinos that are by far the best audience members, in yeah. my opinion, by far. Yeah, they loved if, it. If they're they sufficiently it. impressed. Yeah, the we, problem is though they like the us. The roasting you'll get if you don't impress him is way worse. I'm sure they could be a bad heckler. That's true. Uh, what, what's what's yeah. the shit they got in um, in New York um, uh, where they freaking sweep you off the stage uh, in Harlem? The Apollo. The Apollo. Yeah. Oh shit! That is the most brutal crowd, and it's like 90 percent black people. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, they, shit. they can't wait to. It's like entertain us, yeah. or we will destroy you. Mm. And that is a, that, that is a... Can we pull up a clip? There's a clip of Richard Pryor's son bombing at the Apollo. Oh, okay. Richard oh, Pryor's son, oh, Apollo. <laughs> and I, this is all I've seen from what Evan's referring to. Oh, God. Gets booed oh, off stage at the Apollo. There we go. Dude, how many goddamn no. jobs does Steve Harvey have? Wait a minute, okay. He has every fucking <laughs> job. I, he was like Family this? Feud. What's up? Yeah. yeah. Will we get copyrighted? Maybe. Isn't this a TV show or no? Do you get copyrighted for stand up? I don't like know this? because I feel like that is just, not. I mean, if we do, if we do, just cut it and then reapply, Austin. Because it's a okay. venue, not technically. I don't think, a yeah, it's a venue. Show. I don't think you, I think you can just. Show. I think we're fine. Let's let it roll a little more volume. Okay, I see what you're saying. I'd be very intimidated to well, watch what happens. Spot. Wait, look, look at the dinner like uh, Turn up a little bit, Austin. Hello! No, hey, Man, I'm nervous. I can literally hear my dad up in heaven right now, like, boy, you better not mess this up. A lot of crazy stuff going on right now. Donald Trump is president. Nah, calm down. I'm not as mad as Facebook is. You read the messages. Oh, Donald Trump, that's the worst president ever. 
I'm not the smartest man, but 400 years of slavery and not one of them presidents made the cut. And the worst part is, I feel like I understand really what's the problem with Donald Trump. Everybody here in America knows the code. If you get caught cheating, you gotta cut your side thing loose. Donald Trump's still on the phone at the White House talking to Russia. Hello? Hey, no. No, I want to talk to my man right now. You go get my poop. Is that you, my poop? <laughs> I love you so much. I love the way you smell. I love the way your name comes off my lips. Boom. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. And it just, and it just snowballs. Have some respect. Have some respect. Dude, he's got to go big right now, dude. Sit down. And he looks Sit just down. like his daddy, too. And he he looks just like, sounds like him. Like, he sounds like him. Sit down. Damn. I wonder how he's doing now. He's, um, he's selling uh, 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 car insurance. Really? <laughs> All state, regional office, yeah. Geico. Yeah, press, uh, so, God, and you know what's crazy about that? <laughs> because, uh, that, so that is, he's got the look, they're already on board because he is Richard Nepotism. Pryor's son. Yeah, your, your daddy paved the way. But the legend, yeah. And, and Leo and I talk about this. It is, they say black guys have bigger dicks. I know that holds up in your case, but... Another stereotype that is absolutely true is that black people are just better than white people at comedy. I, That's, for the most part, I, especially I, I like a disagree. dude, rookie, a rookie black man and a rookie white man. It's uh, night and day, uh, in my opinion. And right? I, I mean, and so so here's what's cool. So in my in my barbershop, we have we have uh, we have we have shop talk every day. Right. And so usually what we'll do is we'll have a like question of the day or question of the week. Right. And so. Depending on what who's they, the daddy? Yeah, it, yeah <laughs> always. <laughs> you might, you might <laughs> you, it'd be like, like top three comedians all time, top five, whatever. Uh -huh. You know, top type quarterbacks, whatever. It's like, so, and then you just all day long, and it always erupts a fat ass debate, right? Mm. If you go down the line, anybody like who's like a like a stand up aficionado, people who really like really like stand up, mm -hmm. not just like I like the movies, but like stand up comedy, you will know that of the five they're given. One might be white, and the others are all black. And if it's yeah. only three, they're all black, well, almost across the board, unilaterally. Mm. Well, let me say this, because my favorite comedians are mostly white. I think because the subject matter of a white comedian versus a black comedian. He you're, you're black people. Uh, definitely. That's yeah. actually true. That's the subtext <laughs> uh -huh. of what I'm saying. But, like, I, I mean, a guy like Louis C.K., it makes sense that I'm going to relate more to Louis C.K., and you're going to relate more to Chris Rock, even Pat though I really yeah. like Chris Rock. Patrice O'Neill kills them both. Love, I, I love Patrice. I, I love he, Patrice. He's good. obsessed with Patrice. Patrice. I, I just listened to Elephant in the Room like, he, recently in my car, like two days ago. In my car. Stand always, up of all time. Yeah. It, yeah. In order, it goes Patrice, Dave, and they've flip-flopped for me over the years because Patrice never made as good a show Dave made yeah. one of the most influential shows yeah. of all time, and you got to give that credit. Yeah, but Patrice was on Opie and Anthony though, and oh, that's that's his years, time put into a show, and it, he made gold. But what I'm saying is, I'm not even talking about the top. I'm talking about when Leo and I are at little shit piss shows in L.A. Yeah. or when we're at open mics. I've seen black guys I know who like come and they've like one guy Vernell I know who was in one of our videos in the channel. I don't know how long he's been doing stand up, not very long at all. I watched him get up in an open mic and it looked like he'd been doing stand up for seven years. Mm -hmm. And then whenever we do a, a, a club, yeah. they usually have two diversity spots: a chick and a black dude. King Croc did decent when he did his first one. Decent. I saw, for he, now that, he that, did for a decent. first time, bro, that is at, at least he unbelievable. Wasn't shook. Like even if it wasn't best, he would just he talked and like the lack of fear. That was yeah, a lack it was of fear. impressive. There you like, go. But in the diversity slots, this is how it usually goes. Mm -hmm. The chick is the worst comedian on the lineup. <laughs> and then always. the black guy is always either the best or he's tied for best. That is almost always, wouldn't yeah. you say, Leo, how it works? Yes. The black, it's yes. either one white guy and the black guy at 1A yes. and 1B for the best of the night, or yeah. it's the black guy was the best of the night. Yeah. That's you, always how it now, is. Now, do, you, do you know why? Do you, I, I think it's because, okay, you know, you've seen the movie Friday, right? He, we, it's, what? Of course you have, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. He <laughs> has it, so, you know, make you boy. Maybe you guys should watch wait, it together. I, I have it. I just, wait, I, I like what? Thursday better. I like a prequel. <laughs> <laughs> prequel. Okay, so you know, in the movie you know, Friday. Wednesday on Netflix. Yeah, Wednesday. So we had a, okay, so if you've seen the movie Friday, the, John Witherspoon's this famous guy that was in it. That, rest in peace. He was the father, Craig's father, the main character's father. 
In the movie, he's absolutely hilarious, right? And there's a theory that you learn hu- like humor and how to be funny or comedic timing from parents, from your father. Exactly. Now, I have known many a black father in, in baseball worlds, uh, maybe people that I knew growing up, and they they just have comedic timing. They're at you know they're in public. They they have the ability to do something comedically a lot easier than most people. They're they're more they're just uh, loose. Dude. They're loose. They're, they're showmen. Before, they're and, showmen. And they and perform. The reason, they're the louder. Why is, you, we hit the nail on the head. Yeah, it, it's trickle down. It comes yes, down. It's from trickle the, down from the minstrel show days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tap dance. No, look, the, the reality is yeah. is being an entertainer. Yeah, was the fastest way to actually make any money if you're black it's true your wow. your, your, yeah. your, your, your ability to like you know become wow. a prominent uh doctor alert was not there for, mm-hmm. for a really long time is if you were really good at something mm-hmm. it was usually entertaining white people mm-hmm. right right so if you get good at that you're like hey son <clears throat> get good at this and you'll make some money you know, like freaking gregory hines could just tap dancing and singing and mm-hmm. okay like the rat pack right one black dude mm-hmm. and he was more talented than Oh, Sammy Davis was Sammy Davis fucking Jr. hilarious. Was freak of yeah. nature. Yeah. Can you name a living white person on earth or who has ever existed who is more talented than Jamie Foxx? Yeah, no, impressions, acting, Academy Award, I Grammys. Mean, oh, so, yeah, what's good? Big he's not dick. He's good got, I heard he has a huge dick. That's, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a, <laughs> that's the one thing that pisses me off I, about I, it. I'm an I Eskimo brother down. with Jamie Foxx, and the motherfucker, she said it was out to here. She just showed me, like, she said it's out to here. How's this tasting, dude? It's pretty good, you know. All right, it's good enough. It's yeah. well. There's rumors Jamie Fox is gay. So are you? What I'm saying uh, is, though, what are could, you sure it was a woman who told you about his penis? Size? It was a woman. That's all right. I mean, parts of her will have were women woman parts. Anyway, you know, that's a good question. Who's like, who's the most talented white guy? Uh, I think it's I think it's like a who can do everything. I think Dino maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I think Nick, like Nick, a white Dino dude. I like that. I think Jim Carrey, bro, kind of. Jim what Carrey does he do is still, be funny. No, but he, you're yeah. right. He's, he tra- he almost won an Academy Award for uh, for uh, for that one movie. Yeah, for acting. But and, acting and that's then, that's like I won a gold medal, well, the 400 meter freestyle, and the 200 meter what freestyle. I'm is, though, but that's all same exactly, thing, right? Yeah. What else is he good at in acting? Stand up. He, he got an Academy Award. Yeah, and then he got a Grammy. Yeah. And, and his stand-up his, career was fire, yeah. and he was doing a living color. Like it's abs a, and a cock. He's, on he's him not too. a little. He's yeah. all the way good at all the Groucho like, Marx. All the Marx Brothers could play instruments yeah. like motherfuckers. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, we got to go way back but, to get a but, white guy. But, can do but it which all. one of those could play more instruments than Prince? Mm. How many instruments did Prince play? Nine. The uh, all played, the Marx Brothers. I don't know about nine, <laughs> but I mean, if you shake a maraca, is that one? If you fucking the triangle, yeah. If you if you drag a stick across the fish bones and it goes. Is that pan, the pan flute? But I mean, fucking Harpo Marx could play the harp and shit. They were pretty classically yeah, trained. But they were vaudeville guys. You probably worked with a lot of right. colored, as they called them back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, performers. Back, back the, yeah where, where the good weed came from was 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 the, the jazz musicians. No, after Jamie Foxx, Donald Glover, freak of nature, hmm. comedy writer, actor, singer, and I mean all the way good at him. Is he? I haven't seen enough of Donald Glover's stuff to know that if his comedy is right for me. So his, I mean, stand, his stand, here's what his stand-up is nowhere near as good as Jamie's. His stand-up is good enough okay. to where it needs to be respected because respected, Fez. A, a, a lot of people are comedy writers, but have no stage presence, right? Mm-hmm. You can be a funny person, but know that you have to give it to somebody who's better on stage than you are. Yeah. And yeah. De- he, and Donald can take his own shit and do a good job. He's mm-hmm. good at stand-up. He's good at it. not great, but he's good. Mm-hmm. And he's got two stand-up specials. So he's got, he 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 can do his specials. His show Atlanta is amazing. Like mm-hmm. he got he got an Emmy season one. Most shows don't get their stride until a few seasons. Season one, he got an Emmy for it. Amazing. And then he's Lando goddamn Calrissian in Star Wars. He's an actor, writer, well, stand up. Yeah, freak. I mean, did his Lando Calrissian role change your life? I mean, it's. I mean, if I have you an just get casted a thing. It's it's it's. Uh, it's, it's Permanently done things to me that I can't. Uh, I admit. like the original one. I just I think that if you well, landed that shit. role, you know what I'm impressed with a person that lands something for like Disney or something like that. How did he have such a squeaky clean background? How did he not fuck up one time? Get a little little tiny me too somewhere. That's real because you know what I mean. That's what I'm impressed. Well, with. I think Disney has morality clauses. They have like oh if, yeah, if they catch you slipping, bro. Your shit gets cut. Yeah, I, I let's. I do think that is one piece of black privilege that exists is the brothers. They have a little bit more leeway when it comes to me too's. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, like rappers, uh, uh, dude, rappers um, are fucking gnarly. Dude. Okay. So sometimes yeah. to, to your argument, R. Kelly should have been locked up 
decades ago. <laughs> yeah. How the yeah. hell Crazy. that piece of shit get get away? It was on and tape. On video, was, motherfucker. You went, you're tape. fucking a 14-year-old on video. On and, I, and you peed on her. That wasn't him. That's uh, It's not conclusive. It is conclusive. We're, uh, we're looking at it. We're eyeballs are, shot, mm-hmm. bro. <laughs> yeah, Shit. yeah. That's just because I hear terrible things about, like, I, I rappers are just fucking. They are mystical. They are out there. Up Nine in the Hollywood years, kind of case gets out. Mm-hmm. Does a song with little Dicky. Immediately catches another rape case. He's back in jail. Yeah. yeah. The white celebrities do weird stuff Mystical. too, but they keep it all a secret. <laughs> like well, they, we've heard things from people about celebrities doing like really weird sex stuff in their private, but for some Epstein reason Island. no one talks about it. Well, well, yeah, minus that. We're in Hollywood. What was that, Fez? That was the first Excuse input me? you've given us all podcast. <laughs> yes. Please repeat what you just said. It's, that's the world of Hollywood. That's how it works over there. That's the world of Hollywood. How does it work? It, uh, Fez, I want you to take a monologue right Elaborate. here. Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. back down. Elaborate. You know, Austin, can you give us a little bit of uh, gene- some generic, yeah. copy, uncopyrighted music? You know, something like they would play at the end of South Park when it's time to learn a lesson. We're going to learn a lesson about the well, dark side of Hollywood from Fez. <laughs> Copyright free, inspirational music. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Let's see you take a crack at inspirational. Nice. <laughs> uh, he spelled it wrong before, so it's a, He spelled it with an E. Yeah, you know, before, so it's already. Here we go, Fez. Tell us about Hollywood. Well, I learned something today. The word Hollywood tends to be very discriminatory to other people's religions and beliefs. And no, as long as you can compete in a world where you can, I don't know, fucking somebody else in the ass and then you go move forward. Okay. Or something like that. <laughs> that is such a the Latino breakdown of Hollywood. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to try your best to repeat the entire speech you just gave so I can understand it better. Shit, did I hear what I just thought I heard? Try it again. Yeah. Say the whole speech again. <laughs> Say the whole thing. It. it was came out of the heart, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> do another one. You got to do another one. All right. Let's just black out and do it. Do it. Go. <clears throat> so, I mean, <laughs> crap, I can't do it again. You can, dude. Do it. You got it. There was passion behind that one. Yes, it was. Um... I don't know. It's just uh, the way I look at it is uh, the word Hollywood always oppress the other minorities in order, in order to get up further or the other, like, scale. So then See, okay. this is... I, that, that's what you took from what we okay. were talking about? So, so. I, I feel like he... That's why he's not happy with where he is in life, Evan, is because he's got the victim complex. Yeah, because what I just said... I think it's the, Hollywood's fault. the complete antithesis of what he said, which yeah. is, no, literally, R. Kelly, who's black as shit, right. literally was like, hey, you know what? I am on camera doing this, and you know what? Didn't happen. In fact, you know what? Let's go drop another platinum album, and then freaking Step in the Name of Love came out. I what a great song, though. Fly. I'm saying, what a great song. Go to a you know? black cookout and see if R. Kelly don't come on at least two times. It still does, see right? A bunch of this shit happening. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Involuntary. So, yeah. our OJ got off. I'm telling you, if your money is tight, you will be all right. That's right. If you keep your shit together, That's if you right. have enough money to make it go away, yeah. then it just didn't happen anymore. Race be damned. Everybody always like, oh, well, Trump is. Trump is, uh, you know, racist, and I'm like, look, well, Trump's a piece of shit, and I will admit <laughs> that I'm not a huge tr- either there either either way, right? Mm-hmm. What I will say though, if Trump had to spend an entire day with a toothless hillbilly from the uh, swamps of Florida, right, <laughs> or Denzel Washington for a day, who do you think he would pick? Yeah, yeah, Trump's yeah. just he's just an Trump's elitist sociopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying it's like the, once again, not on his side. I don't yeah. give a shit either way. What I'm saying is though, people want to throw these is at everybody. Oh, you're like, no, you realize. Most people like it's birds of a feather type yeah. shit where people want to be around their own, yeah. which is your bracket. Yeah. Which yeah. And, tax bracket. <laughs> and rich white people love rich black people too because it's like, uh, yeah. it's like they collect them. Cause, like, cause I saw Ray. I got one. I got one. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's a clip. Everybody. Of, there, there's a clip of Ray Dalio who's a huge. Danny's got one. He's got, he's yeah. Got one. He's got one. And I, I'm a billionaire like Dalio too. Uh, but he, he ro- Ray Dalio rolls up in his like armored Bentley into P. Diddy's Hollywood Hills house. And there's a camera crew ready to film it. He's documenting his one encounter with a black guy. And they go in and talk like CDs and inflation rates for an hour, get some content, and then he goes home. Awesome. They, they say they're actually friends. I'm completely and slandering their friendship. I know. And, and the, and probably, I'm saying it's like, is to some degree, like, I don't know people are genuine or not, right? So there are people who literally are like, hey, I got one. Do you know how many times I've dated a white girl and she was real quick to like 
introduced me to the folks or whatever it was. Damn. Because she's like, look. This is only after George Floyd, though. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, poor George Floyd. <laughs> yeah, that, because, because, because she was like, oh. He's got a good job. Uh, he speaks well. Uh, oh my! His his parents are still together. No, he doesn't smoke crack. He says no criminal record. Oh my god! Oh my god! And then they bring me back, and they're like, the big dick thing is true though. So, Dad, I know that one hurts a little bit. I got hurt, but how I get the ferrets on board is is like they're they're like, look, look, I want I want to like parade him because it's yeah. usually an f you, Dad, you piece of shit. Like I want to, yeah. So I know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't mind too much, do you? No. Yeah. Still got laid, bro. That's right. Still got laid, yeah. bro. What are you talking you about? The, he doesn't have the victim. You're not a victim mentality guy. Nah, because yeah. it's debilitating. It if, is. If if you let that be your excuse for why you refuse to be ambitious, yeah. you will never elevate your station in life ever. Yeah. Listen to this. Yeah. I was on set recently on a short film, and there was a black man that was one of the lead characters, and... Um, Every day on set, there was some speech about how the black man is kept down in Hollywood. Lies. Yeah. And I was like, right now? Are you sure? Because yeah. every black person I know that was in acting when I started around 2010, 2011... They're murdering right now. Yeah. Kanye unleashed the Blitzkrieg against the Jews and then just said, I'm sorry. Yeah. And now he's just And he's bro. back. Exactly. Death yeah. Con 3. Yeah. Death Con 3 on the Jews, man. And what does that even back. mean? And he's fine. He walked down a run. Oh, actually, no, never mind. This is yeah. somebody else. Fake Kanye impersonator. But, uh, yeah. I, I, and that's the one place. I get maybe 15 years ago in banking, but in Hollywood? Yeah. it's Hollywood has been a good place for black people for a lot longer than most other places in America. And, and, and yeah. they're doing a good job of trying to show it. All right, that's why we got Black Panther 1 and 2, right? We're mm -hmm. like, look, we can make them an all-black cast on something, and it's not a Tyler Perry freaking movie for once. Because right. for the longest time, if you had an all-black cast, it's Tyler Perry. it immediately meant is a black movie, and you immediately cut off a good chunk of the people who are going to watch your yeah. shit. Yeah. So you can have all-white movies all day long, and people will watch. Wedding Crashers is the funniest movie I've ever seen in my life. There are no black people yeah. in that whole movie, right? I can't think of that. And no one even thinks about that because yeah. it doesn't matter. The minute you saw a movie with that level of just black blackness, then oh, well, it was a black movie now. So it's like, all right, well, you know, put a deal. Hugh Lee is going to be in and such the entertainer, and like you know, like, and then you have a black movie, and so then we all watch it. Do you know how long it was before white folks started watching Friday? Friday was a black ass movie. It was black right. shit. Took a and, while. Yeah. When it was on VHS. Thursday so, was so, for white people, though. Thursday <laughs> was for white people? <laughs> white, no, Wednesday. Oh, I saw the I saw the TikTok dances. Y'all embrace that bitch immediately. Immediately. I, I didn't embrace anybody. <laughs> a lot of the black sitcoms that you see too are like very like whiteified. Like like you have to like the Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. He's in like the white neighborhood. He's in Bel Air. It's like yeah. Corey in the house. Cosby. He's in the white well, house with like the president. It's My like dad made me. Well, he one of his favorite shows was Sanford and Sons. You know that show? That was black as shit. Yeah, that was black, <laughs> dude. It was just a touche, Leo. He just, good, yeah, he owned rebuttal. like a junkyard, dude, and he was like yeah. the most racist black man of all time. He hated yeah. Latino. It was well, awesome. It, it, it makes a little bit of sense because I mean, black people are what ten percent of the population. So uh, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Well, they've gained two. Let's get those. Latinos are fifteen now. They beat us. There's a lot of the Latins are up. Those are those are the ones that are documented. I mean, I get on it. It's like it's forty five percent. Yeah, exactly, bro. You just can't even. They're in the back of your chilies right now out there cooking up all your food. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, I guess I get why for a long time they'd be like, well, we're going to try to appeal to the majority of the population, and then yeah, that's that's good. They started changing. Like for me, the crossover moment. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that wasn't fire, though. Fire. What? what? Aside, aside from the gameplay, the, the, the radio stations yes. were yeah. hilarious. It was all like rap music, and you're like, I get to be a black guy yeah. for as long as I want, and no one can say shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I get to be like, give me them ducats, motherfucker, and like punch a businessman in the face, and then shoot his corpse, dude. Yeah, it, I grab it was off the ground. right off on a fucking Schwinn. We got it. We got it. We got a live stream. GTA, we got it, dude. But dude, like, honestly, so psychologically, a kid who grew up in the fucking white burbs, or not even burbs, like a white fucking hick town, 
who, all the hours I spent with Carl Johnson might have had a positive effect on my psyche as far as like my racial acceptance. Just playing the yeah. black guy simulator. Because I, I was hanging out with Ryder, dude. <laughs> Ryder was like ride or die, you know? And like him and I, we had to fight off the fucking other dudes in Los Santos yeah. who were stepping. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was green. It was Grove yeah. Street. Grove, Grove, Street, Grove, Grove Street, Street, bitch. bitch. And growing, up in a, and growing up in LA, was <laughs> black culture was always just, it was the cool way to dress, cool way to, I mean, rap music was, we didn't, you had more of like a, uh, hot punk and, yeah, and oh, you know. hot take, hot take. You Black know? culture is the most prevailing, dominant American culture. It is the most widespread, universally known culture on the planet. And I know this because I've been to a bunch of countries. That's why the fatherhood rates are declining yeah. worldwide. Yes, it is. <laughs> Enjoy. So, asshole. I'm sorry. You asshole, dude. You asshole. He's like, 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 like really good. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, Clarence, leave that bitch. No. So, <laughs> finish up. Finish up. Over oh, there, my buddy. God. Another glass. Uh, oh, no. Uh, are you going to dome it? Yeah, dome let's do it right now. One, two, three. Fez, That's why don't you, you get hammered, Fez? What else do you got to do? Oh, yeah, Fez Fez got shit about the, the black culture being pervasive. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was you're saying well, so it's all over the world. Musically, oh, yeah, yeah. You musically, know, obviously so dominant. I literally go all over the world. Yeah, um, and because I get, um, I was in, I was in Spain a couple of months. Spain, Denmark. I've been to uh, Colombia, uh, Thailand, Korea, Ooh. whatever. I, you go to clubs out there. It's rap music. music. Yeah. You can listen to rap music on every continent on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. That's right. I have not seen and or been into a single country bar anywhere on this planet in mm -hmm. the only Brazil continent. might have one. Brazil, they ride bulls down there. Oh, they ride all kind of shit out there. Yeah, Which kind of bulls? The ones with, with wigs or the... What, 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 <laughs> like what, a bull dyke? <laughs> no, what, no, no. They ride the fucking... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, there. One of those. A horse. All right, yeah, that's more of a horse. <laughs> What's the fucking difference? What they do, you know. Um, was, yeah, so hip-hop so hip music... Um, yeah. They were also they they don't have the same uh, level of like like racism and shit, right? Like I'm a black guy here. Everywhere else, I'm exotic. Mm. They look at me like I'm some shit they ain't never seen before. I'm like a foot taller than every. When I was in Thailand, I'm like six one. Yeah, and they're just like, oh my god. All they know is that uh, you know Denzel and Will are the best actors ever. And the funniest uh, people are all black dudes. And the best, at Michael Jordan's the greatest person ever. Michael Jackson is the greatest. Yeah, like, so they do they love. So I've heard mixed stuff about it, though. I've heard Europe's really racist. So Europe's weird. Depends on where you go in Europe. So you yeah. want to go to France? That, they don't go to very France. racist yeah, in France. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they're oh, racist yeah. against yeah. Americans, yeah, exactly. period. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck France. Dude. France does Been not like France. it. Argentina and fucked you up in the world, guys. And they're cowards. Fuck you, The French guys, give dude. up. And they give up, dude. Oh, yeah, if they need our help, yeah, we don't oh, please, want to please, 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 yeah. 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 Usadi would have been on when the shit hit the Bro, fan Thanks for the fucking like, Statue of Liberty. Fuck you, Yeah, I fucking wipe my ass with her crown. <laughs> fucking frogs. Also, you know they were sending Jews to the death camps, too, willingly. The Vichy France government. Mm. They well, are fucking pussies. Fucking do a mime act and write some shitty poetry. Yeah. While I fucking jizz on your prime minister's mustache and then use the beret to wipe your ass that's right i will yeah, wipe it and then i'll fucking stick his cigarette up my pee hole yeah they're such an asshole and you know their their soccer team their football soccer whatever it's 90 percent africans that yeah. just they just they oh. literally go and they find them there from their colony they adopt yeah. them yeah. and they and bring they, them to france and put them in a in an academy uh, black ass yeah. french dudes in fact if you go to parts of Africa right now, where they mm -hmm. only speak French because they they went over and they colonized. Right. So, uh, as uh, uh, the French and obviously the English colonized more Africa than like most yeah. folks, there are chunks of French speaking Africans. They speak whatever language their tribe has, and then the, the universal language they all have is mm -hmm. French. Wow. I know that because I know a but I know a bunch of Africans. Like, yeah, I speak French. I'm like, that's freaking dope. Not by choice. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just, it's kind it's kind of what you have to do. Yeah, so the French the French are assholes. The French the are assholes. Speak or clicking. That's what you yeah. get. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! One of one of my pigeon. favorite uh, uh, African dudes has a click in his name. So he's, he's, he's one of boys. I, we've been boys for years, right? And so so he he only he only goes by uh, uh, GQ because the Q in his language is a, a sound. <laughs> And mm -hmm. I, you have to say the word and click without In stopping the, saying the word. Oh, it's, wow. It's all. It you should name your daughter. Danny, you should name one of your children and put a click in one of their names. I think so. Just I mean, for the humor. It's easier than rolling R's. Um, 
So I'd be sure. open to it. Elon, the Elon's freaking kid. He did something it, sort of like X-Ash that. X-Ash right? A-17. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? It, it's, it's a fighter jet or some shit. Like it's, it's some, yeah, I think it's, it's some, an airplane. It's some wacky shit where yeah. he's like, I'm going to just put some weird shit and have the most unique name ever. I'm like, yeah. look, bro, Elon and Nick Cannon have been in a a head-to-head on who's going to impregnate more bitches. Yeah. Dude. And it's the f- Shit I've ever I think seen Elon's life. take on on like on like fucking raising a kid is kind of questionable sometimes. He's <laughs> like, ah, oh, they only need my help once they turn eighteen. I'm like, are you sure about yeah. that, dude? Well, he's are got you sure. I, I mean, if that's a competition, Nick Cannon's going to run out of resources before Elon. He will not. And Nick Cannon before Nick Elon Cannon is the CEO of Nick Jr. He okay, is part of Nick well, Nickelodeon. He's really? Elon's the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. I don't Touché. think it's a, I don't think it's really a, a competition. <laughs> t- t- Elon's t- t- the richest guy in the world. Is he? He's the rich. Is, is that, the, is that one of? I think. I think he, he I, went. If his stock goes up, goes up if it yeah. goes up by sixty more dollars, the price of Tesla, he'll be the richest guy. And that's, that's not true. including like all the the oil people in. Like Saudi he's the, Arabia, the, the ones that are off the grid. Yeah, well, they're off we, the grid. We all Easterners like, like, aren't men. They're it's, not it's, people. It's Bezos, it's Bezos right now. But but you're right though. Look it, up the richest person in the world. Yeah, I, let's look it up it's, to it's it's right Bezos, today. It, it's it was it was Elon. Is, no, 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 no. I think it's Elon beat him, bro. And also yes. Bezos got divorced. He beat him a while. Yeah, but Bezos got divorced. She's one of the richest women in the world. Damn. After Musk is burnt, Bernard Arnhart. So this is how it works, though. It's a fucking French fuck. I it's, think. So it says Elon right now, but it does fluctuate with the price of Tesla. It right. Does. There was a Mexican yeah, at one see. point. Like it, it's, so, Damn it. For, so when we were all kids, it was Bill Gates for the longest time. Fuck the Microsoft. Gates, it was Bill Gates forever, <laughs> yeah. It was freaking Willie. Willie Willy Gates was, was killing the game. Yeah, fucking Willie, dude. Dude, we need that barbershop Evan down here is a fucking third mic. Dude, dude, you would be the best third mic of all time. You got to quit your, you got to quit cutting hair. You got to become podcast. Or you can cut hair in LA. Podcast Evan, dude. If you podcast Evan, it's not barbershop. Money. First I, can time, get I, you, I can get you a chair at a barbershop. I know a, a white barber. He he wants to be a, <laughs> he only, he only cuts Black people's hair, though. I he owns the shop, guys. asshole. He's also I, bald and he's my, terrible. My name is on the front of the building. All right, here, I know, here, I get here. it. You could start your own one here. So here's here's how it works. <clears throat> I'm for sale, and I let that okay. be known out the gate. There was a price tag on everything. Yeah. If you can beat what I'm currently doing, well, it's going to take a little few more exactly. years. It's going to take a few more years. I'm 17 years deep, gentlemen. I've been yeah, in the game yeah, a yeah, long yeah. time. Been in the and game. you know what helps, Evan? When you go to the website. Or the Google reviews, or where should they go to give you a positive review for your bar? Oh, yeah, shop? do this. Hey, so, boys, hold on. Leo and Danny what, show, what, right what, into the camera, right into the camera. So, um, aside from all the ridiculous banter we're having right now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. My name is Evan. Yes. Uh, Evan's Barbershop, Citrus Heights, California, 7723 Mariposa Avenue. Feel free to come by, say what's up. Free shots, free. Drinks for everybody nice. who comes and hangs out. Damn. It is the number one barbershop in the city. It According not, to Google reviews, yeah, it is. It's not me saying that. Yeah. I have a plaque to prove it. I yes. won. Yes. Ugh. By all means, yes. you come out, enjoy yourselves. The least yes. I can do is make everybody feel welcome in my shop. Number one. And, and also, he, if you yeah. don't live in Sacramento, why don't you just, you know, you know you'd have a great time. Leave make, a review. Make Leave the, a review. Make Leave the a review. Trek. And if you can't make the trek, Either of you, let them know. It would mean a lot. Yelp, Yelp, and Google, right? <laughs> it would mean a lot for to Papa Leo, and, and uh, if you show me proof of the review, I will answer your DMs. Ooh. Danny doesn't really go through his DMs because he's a jerk off. In fact, but five I five bucks off your cut if you leave me a five star review. Show Look it to that. me. And I'll give it to you. Look at that. Andy's going to give uh, Fez a nice, sexy mullet here in a little bit. <laughs> well, let's get that started. I say take another big swig of that K one and let's see what's up. Yeah. Or am I going to mix it like? Whatever you want to do, whatever's going to inspire you. Take a swig you. like a boss. With, I'll take I, a swig with you. I, We're trying to I, get him blade. So I think that should be the goal. Well, he, any an edgy haircut Bla- oh, will always get you hard, more, more chances of you getting laid. Right? Yeah, any, an edgy haircut is always going to get you possibly laid. You no, have you more than a brand. A, it will not. Charisma gets you laid. Well, charisma, of course. Okay, so what you got to do? We got to step your game up, son. What we're going to do is we're going to give you an unrelenting level of confidence. Yes. You're going to take out into the world. Okay. Yeah. We've already. And you're going to use that. Doesn't really work. And you're going to do the Danny Mullen method <laughs> of you're going to put your belts out there. The first bitch who makes it to my belt buckle gets it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's All right. Let's move the carpet. <laughs> heads up. Feet up. I don't okay. know. We gotta, I'm going to take a wee wee. Yeah, let's take, let's a take a break and yeah. set this up. Audience of the Leo and Danny show. My cohorts, they've been overserved a little bit by Barbershop Evan. Dino also is indulged now. He is 21. 
Yeah. I'm hammered. Not Leo's hammered. hammered. I'm, tipsy. I'm tipsy. Leo's absolutely hammered, and I'm concerned because he drove here. Barbershop gonna, Evan. I can walk home, all right? It's close. You won't, though. Barbershop Evan had the wherewithal <laughs> to get dropped off. Uh, Fez is... Do we know the, the capacity load for this chair he's sitting in? It's very close to the limit right now. <laughs> It's visibly straining. Why is that so funny when you're drunk, dude? It's just like a fat guy sitting on a stool. You know I mean? It's just a simple thing. Fat but guy on a little stool. Yeah, dude. It's just so funny, dude. Am I that old where no one knows? It's from yeah. the Friday soundtrack? Yeah, it, no, it's, it's, uh, you, it's Chris SNL. Farley, you Chris Farley. Shit. Yeah. God, SNL. Cheap amateur hour. All right. All right. What's the, uh, I, you get dual wheeled what's, microphones. What's the plan? As the man what's that the knows, plan? as the man, what, what's what's the what's the goal? What what are we doing? As so how much am I Danny, out? what do you what think? Are we doing? I say Evan. We've been talking about how influential black culture is. I know we, you probably don't have the tools to give him a proper black haircut. Him a fade. No, I can't. Can we give him give him something a brother would respect? And really, don't hold back. Don't worry about him being quote unquote presentable or fuckable. I call this the Michael Jordan. Oh, no, shit. No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, as a guy that as a guy that I I think that I uh, I can tell you what women want in some cases. Right. So an edgy. I want edgy for this man. I think he needs that because I'm already telling him that I'm going to give him a makeover soon. And it's going to be he's going to dress like a man that, you know, DJ Khaled, you know, uh, DJ Khaled. He's going to start. Oh, sweet, baby. Don't do that to him. Don't he's gonna, that no, to but him. he needs. To, you know what First I mean. Off, to, he's insulting your weight issue a little right bit, now by a calling little bit. you are not DJ Khaled size, bro. Don't let him you talk what? to you like that. All I'm your saying goddamn that, face. But don't you think that he would look good in some DJ Khaled fits? He oh, looks good. You know what I mean? But, but yeah. Do you have gold chain money? Do you have pinky ring money, bro? It's gonna be fake. No. It's gonna he's be on, all fake. He's on disability, Barbara. He's on, he's he on makes fifteen hundred dollars a month, and that's all. It's disability. <laughs> uh, <laughs> edgy. Go like edgy. Yeah, good. Edgy. I, mean, I was thinking good, like no mullet. Edges. So, kind no. of mullet thing. Kind of I mean, a little we, mullet. We, we, we if he back lost back. some weight, there might be edges. But right now, he's... <laughs> so there's no way. Turn around. There's no way to do a proper mullet due to the fact that I have no right. buzzers to take it down. Like we have no buzzers, Austin. No, I have. No. I have buzzers. It's just I don't have the attachments. That's perfect. We'll go skin on skin. No, no, no. I don't need attachments. Also, there's Fez, right I'm sorry. There. That was the last fat joke Dino, I'll make. Dino, Dino, if we were there. Let's go, bro. We got buzz keys. I don't think you understand what kind of level we deal right now without any attachments. Without any extra accoutrement, I can get shit cracking right Let's now. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. Is that enough, dude? Oh, they're bullshit, too. We're oh, writing something. Bullshit. We have to write something in his scalp. That's just the way it is. No, Papa don't do that to him. We're no. going to. We're no. trying to get him pussy, bro. <laughs> Danny, yeah. stop. He's been on pussy. We're trying to get this man late. We're yes, trying, to we're trying to get him late. Sexual prowess, not decrease. Barbershop, you know he's a virgin, so, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's 38 and he's a virgin. You, have you sworn off of a, a vagina? Are you a monk and or Mormon? Which which? Oh, so <laughs> this lack of copulation has everything to do with your appearance and nothing to do Correct. with any choice. Some choices. Called an incel. He's sort of an incel. How about we write incel on the side of his head? No, dude. No. No. I want to get him pussy. Uh, no, I, Give no, this motherfucker... I, 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 I love you, buddy. I'm there. Yeah. Edgy we're, haircut, we're good, dude. We're good. We're good. All right. So what we're going to do, for the most part, we, yeah. can, we can do the mullets. Let's mullets. For some weird reason, are back. They're why huge. are the mullets back? The 80s was a rough time for everyone. I'm trying to think why the mullet is back. Well, you know who? Morgan Wallen. He, I think he brought it back. No, he didn't. You know who brought it back? MLB. Real shit. Yeah, so, all the baseball so players, bro. When they started having, yeah, they, that's the, legit. It's oh, true. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Was I'm that in a barbershop, bro? You don't think I know what? Can, can I? Yeah, can bro. I just throw out like that? I might have predated the mullet craze in really? 2019. I was rocking mullets all the time. What, but, yeah, that's you, right. I mean, I'm an idiot. Why yes, you, you, you were. You were. You, you've but, been. But he also right. had bangs. I'm sorry. And the, the bangs, bangs. Yeah, that's what's throwing me off. That means there was party in the front and the back. And, and the back. There was two parties. Too, there's too many parties. Too many parties. It was a modified it's mullet. Right. It was a modified mullet. You're right. You've been rocking it. And I it was, was rocking it before. It, it was got, sexy. Girls loved it. Yes. Before it came back with a vengeance, I was there. Right. So what we're going to do is, all right, so for starters, I'm going to take like all of it down. Yeah. Yeah, you got to take it down. Yeah. Right, trans right on the side. No. Trans right. Stop. Here's, 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 so. <laughs> yeah, trans right on the side. Stop, here's, dude. Here's, here's, here's what you need. And I'm, I'm being dead serious. What you need is the standard uh, uh, douche, douche boy. Uh, yes. Like, the, like the, the, um, the MLB. No, 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 not, not even that. No, he needs. The South Beach diet. No, he needs the hipster. No, he, he needs the, like, the, the hard part. 
come up because right, you're like you're Latin and you got like curls. Yeah. Now, if, if if we could do that, I don't have the tools to do that. So you're gonna get a, a dramatically worse you need haircut an than I would give you if I was given <laughs> leeway. So enjoy. So yes. what's gonna happen is I'm gonna leave this in the back. Where it goes on nice and even. Yes. And then we're gonna we're we're gonna do the best we can with what we've got. That's right, baby. Oh. And it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. Can we uh can we oh, can we write sorry. prayers for Ukraine on the side? <laughs> <laughs> can we buzz prayers for Ukraine on the side, please? Oh, sorry. oh my god, these scissors are bullshit. Yeah. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Fez, what? Why do you look like you 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 you're watching your family get murdered right now? And he's South American, so that some version of that probably happened already. A hundred percent, it's happened. <laughs> Fez, this is good, bro. You need a haircut, bro. You need an edgy haircut to try to get chicks, man. Yeah. No, yeah. What he needs is what you guys have not been providing him with this entire time. What? Which is a solid wingman. What he needs. I haven't gone out with him yet, yeah. yeah. No, you don't. You know what a solid wingman does? A solid wingman gets you laid. gives you the trickle down. That That's means he true, does man. all the heavy lifting. It's true. And then what happens is the girl's like, ugh. Well, I'm not going to be the only one who doesn't get laid. And I, oh my yeah. God. And then you go get your dick. But if your wingman was doing his job. That's a little bit more than a solid wingman, though. That's like a phenomenal wingman. That's, that's a great wingman. I've been doing for literally 20 I, years. I know you're a great wingman. You know, the only wingman I think I could get it done for Fez is named Rufalin. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Fez? I thought you said you were going to cut it out with a fat joke. That's not a fat joke. He was making a, a joke about how. Well, it is kind of a fat joke. <laughs> Damn it, dude! It is because it goes. It, it was starts. A, that was a Bill Cosby joke. Yeah, it was a Bill, it was Cosby, more of a Bill joke, Cosby joke. But, start, but the reason why you need the roofies <laughs> is because you're fat. So it is a fat joke. God damn it, dude! It is. Sorry. No, 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 no. Well, no, no. he didn't have to know that, Leo. Now right. you, you suck the ambiguity no, 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 out. I should have left it. Here's why it wasn't a fat joke. Here's why it wasn't a fat joke. The reason it wasn't a fat joke, sir, is because. Fat dudes have been getting laid for a long time. Thank you, bro. What that is, sir, is people acknowledging the level of charisma that you're going to need yes. for your desired result. Yes. And I'm telling you right now is that is Jack Black gets all the pussy. Yeah. He's married. Uh, oh, and when he was just doing he was getting pretty Tenacious D, yeah. like on the show before he was married, knee deep, knee yep. deep. Yep. Him, Kevin James, Biggie Smalls. Yep. Big Pun was freaking 500 pounds Biggie was, and was ballsy. Uh, Biggie was one of the biggest the pimps of all time, your bro. Your weight has nothing to do with it, Biggie sir. Was, not blame your weight, sir. Blame this. Well, not fact. The part about this, this is easier to change than your weight is, sir. It's true. It's an uphill battle to change your body's physiology. It is not an uphill battle to change your mentality. So if you... It's yeah. a downhill tumble if he trips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We call it the snowball effect. Wait, let's, <laughs> Fez, is that a fat joke? Is that a fat joke or no? Is that, <laughs> was that a fat joke? Was that a fat joke? Ain't no fat joke. Was that last joke that he made about you tumbling? Was that a fat joke, Fez? No, not a fat joke at all. No, that's just, a, that's just no. like an athletic... Lack of coordination. Yeah, it's a lack of coordination. Clumsy. It's a clumsy joke. Clumsy joke. Everyone's allowed to be clumsy. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I'm well, clumsy sometimes. I'm clumsy too. Yeah. Now it takes exactly 23 shots before I get clumsy, <laughs> but I mean, uh, b barring that excessive amount of alcohol intake... <laughs> Uh, in fact, I'm sorry. My coordination is problematically good. I, I, I'm I'm weirdly dope all the time. I try to turn it off, but I can't. I've only seen Evan really fucked up in Tahoe Dude, once. Tahoe, when a bunch bro. of fans took us to a party, Evan was oh, feeling man. himself so much. Oh my god! He, he got god. so drunk. He did the only like uncool, un black guy like hip thing I've yeah. ever seen. He pulled his cock out in the back of an Uber <laughs> while we filmed. <laughs> On camera, and then he begged us to delete it. I remember Swear that. Swear to me that he yeah. was bro, bro. I was like, I was like, one, I don't remember doing it. <laughs> yeah. And like, he was like, Evan, 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 look at this. Evan, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I was like, oh, sh oh shit. Shit. What did I? Oh, I was, I, I was like, bro. <laughs> Dude, I remember you, you doing do it. Solid, bro. You got to do me a solid, man. You can't put that shit out. Dude, there. it he was. barely okay, opened so his eyes. So he was in like the middle of the story, and Danny asked you to do it, and you just fucking were like, okay. And you were just still telling your story, and you just took the cock out, and you were like barely there. <laughs> barely conscious. Danny was hilarious. being a one man army at that moment. He always he, is, he, isn't he? He convinced me against my lack of. Of not better judgment. There was no judgment. Yeah, it it was my my susceptibility to 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 any 
you, any yeah. amount of uh, suggestion was through the roof. You guys are really good friends. Huh? Like, like wedding, like you'll be at each other's weddings? Oh, yeah. I Barbershop's coming to the wedding. So first and foremost, I'm never getting married because it's a goddamn scam. Uh, I, if I ever get yeah. duped into matrimony, yeah. I'm telling you right now, it is going to be the most hilarious, amazing... Bachelor party? Uh, yeah. That just seems like everybody in in the it, like it, modern day people are like seeing the statistics on marriage, and you no one what? wants to get okay, married. Leo, do me a favor right now, big guy. Uh huh. Barring the tax break, what is the actual motivation for a man to ever get married in this country? I there's not much. I, I oh, not much. No, give me. There's I, not. I, I there's will not, say this. Besides I, the tax break, I was thinking about no, the, this, I, this, the tax break, and not I, getting picked up in the draft. I was thinking I, about know, that. I'm this not 39, morning. so I could get I could get drafted. No, 36, buddy. 36. 36 is for the draft, though. Yeah. I have some buddies who are all getting married. They're my age, and idiots, a lot of them. The, the cool maybe. But the cool thing about it that I've seen is so one of my buddies is married to a girl who comes from a really good family. Her parents have money. He has a good job. So, and they really love each other, and it's a sincere marriage. All of their resources are pooled. Mm -hmm. They have her parents that helped them get a condo. That's awesome. Man. They have a ton of resources that the kids are probably going to inherit. Right, yeah. not the kids, my buddy and his wife. And they're like a fucking business team. Yeah. And sometimes, especially if you're doing something risky like we do, mm -hmm. where we don't work at H and R Block, we're right. not collecting a steady we're paycheck. We're self-employed. Yeah. It's good to have some emotional support. And them, I mean, they share a fucking bank account. Yes. And as a unit, there's got to be a lot of comfort and yes. um, instability in that that must be well, nice. Well, Danny, my a real estate buddy of mine told me that anybody buying a house in L.A., it's it's a couple. It's a yeah. couple buying a No one is buying a house by themselves anymore. Yeah. It's a couple buying yeah. a house. So you're right about that. There's yeah. another thing. Yeah. I would just very much encourage people to not jump into marriage with the first chick they start banging routinely in their 20s. Yeah. Because that's bound to end in disaster. Yeah. Because they're unaware of just the unilateral, uh, like, how similar vagina is. They're like, <laughs> oh, my God, this is the greatest shit ever. Mm -hmm. And you get locked down when you're 19 or 20. Right. If you were just aware just wait. that you could find an idea Identical vagina, usually yeah. better version of better that. version, yeah. In the very city in which you live, yes, it would. It, the, if dudes is new, yes. you could just go out and get a get the same thing, if not better, yeah, at will, yeah. Um, the rates would go down. Some good older man yeah. wisdom. Yes. What, what do you think about that kind of sexism that he was just espousing uh, there, Fez? Reality, I think it's accurate. Yeah. Damn, Fez, well, you're a fucking based uh, fucker. Well, huh? he hasn't he hasn't managed to find even one vagina yet, so <laughs> that's not exactly accurate yeah, that he's, he's saying it's accurate. He attempted it once. So the story, yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbershop, to get to catch you up. At. He knows exactly where they're at. He's not in To catch you up, Barbershop, 12 years ago, he attempted to have sex, and he doesn't really, can't describe insertion. How old are you? 38. 38. Oh, shit. He looks young. He's got that going for it. Fez looks young. See, and this, this is... The yeah. Latin version of black don't crack. Right. Right. Yeah. Black don't crack unless you smoke it. And, <laughs> and, and I'm telling you right now, no wife, no kids, yeah. no crack habit, yep. and no criminal record keeps you youthfully exuberant for a long time, sir. And I'm telling yep. you right now, I'm in the same boat, bro. Yeah. No one knows how old I am. Nope. Nobody I'm does. Old, I'm as old as I need to be. But you, your shit is next level. As you're already looking way more handsome with this cut, and you yeah. have great facial structure. If you just lost this weight, can't you see the fucking jawbone? Yeah, that dude. If if he lost that weight, he would be handsome as shit. He has good teeth too. He he's got great smile. teeth. I mean, I don't want to say it. He kind of sounds kind of gay, but you got good, nice lips, Fez. Yeah, you know what I mean, I'm not trying to be gay. But... You would be a good look if you lost that weight. I'm looking at you right now. The lighting is very favorable, and the hairstyle looks much more stylish. You would be a fucking handsome bastard yeah. if you just had the discipline to throw on some Nikes and go for a jog. You know what? I don't get Fez because I, I've known you. I've known Fez for a little bit now, and we had a talk. And I had he sent me some videos. What I don't understand, Fez, is COVID put you in a motherfucking coma for two days. Two days, and bitch. You still can't let go of the Dr. Peppers, dude. Come on. Did he get? He wouldn't do a COVID coma. 
he, dude, yeah, he almost he was on a ventilator, bro. He actually got afflicted by, by yes. that by that weird ass borderline bullshit ass. Yes. I've got COVID three times. Same. But but the the, the difference. So first up, I catch all the new COVID. Right. That's my shit, right? Right. So, Every time it, the new so one like, comes like out. When the new iPhone comes, like when the new COVID comes, I catch let's it. Let's go, let's catch you, it. You catch the shit out the gate, right? Right, so right out the gotta, gate. You don't gotta worry about catching it later on. So you my good. immunity levels are sky. Same, dude. Were, same. Were you vaccinated, Fez? No, on my first, the first time I got COVID, I pretty much got fucked up for a whole month. And then you got vaccinated? Can you say that Pfizer rocks right now? Why? <laughs> no. Well, didn't it keep you alive? Was you should be more Moderna? grateful. You should be more grateful. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Was it Moderna? Say, say fucking Moderna rocks. Moderna rocks. There we go. That's, we're using that to counterbalance Evan saying COVID was bullshit, just in I case YouTube is bullshit. still enforcing those policies. I said, and I quote, I said... That I catch all the new COVID. That shit is dope. Yeah, but Moderna wants you to be catching all the new boosters. <laughs> yeah, but they don't make any money with natural because, immunity. Because the bottom line that they don't want to admit out, out of the gate is the reason why people are um, expiring is due to age and unfortunately lack Wait. of a... Uh, Say it delicately. <clears throat> lack of concern for over your cardiovascular health. Okay. So, if, oh, yeah, just cardio. It's <laughs> do, you know, do you know what that means, Fez? <laughs> <laughs> run a lot. Yeah. It's Good. Now, uh, running is Good. not the only cardio. For uh, you, Fez, you could do the elliptical. You get to know the elliptical. Really it's going to be your best friend. He hits the elliptical every time he goes to the gym. It's going to be his, his best shit. friend. Okay. It's going to be his best friend. How long does he go to the gym? And how long uh, pretty does he often, be? actually. Really? A few times a week, yeah. Well, he's been on the ground. He lost 100 pounds. I don't want to talk only well, shit about him. First off, first he lost time, a hundo. Respect. I want you to know ahead of time that needs to be acknowledged. That's awesome. What were you saying, Fez? I used to wear uh, 389 pounds, and I'm like 297. You got it, dude. Keep going. Um, you want to say something mean, don't you, Danny? There's nothing to be made just <laughs> about that. Like, bro, you lost 800. <laughs> bro, that's not, you realize that that is exactly one anorexic bitch that just fell off your back? Yeah. That's one Dino. Like, like, a, like a, a skinny bitch. That's wild, bro. All at once, that's just what happened. Look at Dino right there, bro. That entire thing came off of your body. That entire yeah, long... Respect. Very lengthy fucking thing. Dino what if Dino lived? What if you were so fat, Dino lived inside of you? Oh, you'd be a lot more racist than homophobic. That's he the- already is a parasite in his regular life, so he would be like a parasite. He would if you if humans could be parasites, Dino would be doing it. If Dino could just lock into gay guys, like live in the folds of gay guys for free, he'd do it. And then the gay guys would get in trouble because they'd be at work and there <laughs> there'd be a boss giving a meeting like, and therefore we need to boost our quarterly numbers. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk, but that is hilarious, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious, dude. It's like your belly, instead of rumbling after a big meal, would just be saying slurs. <laughs> That is really funny. This is why I want to get more cameras so that we can have just like one for like a stand up mic in the corner. We do need the stand up on the spot is something we haven't done in a while. We got to bring that really back. Fun, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stand up on the spot. We'll come back to the so Leo good. and Danny show. Do you guys this has been an epic. This has studio? been an epic. Do we have what, Fez? What? Do you guys used to have them in the old studio, the stand up con? No, we used to do stand up on the spot. It wasn't much different than what we're doing right now. Yeah. But we had the idea of setting up a little mini stage with red curtains yeah. and a faux brick wall. That'd be pretty That'd badass. Be that would be really yeah. dope. Best part about this cut. This is a 47 year old lesbian cut. This is dope. Yeah. That, so what you need to get some combat boots and some camo when yeah. you go out wearing this particular haircut because um, uh, this is this is gonna improve your ability in the gay clubs a lot. Yeah. Now, it's gonna be a lot of women coming at you because they don't know who you are yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you say your name is Sarah and just say with conviction, they'll believe you. <laughs> say you coach indoor soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Or or gym. You're either a gym teacher or an indoor soccer yeah, coach. Maybe you're both. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm the assistant coach of the women's basketball team. Like, oh, yeah, we know. Yeah, we we know we know we know we know. We know. I mean, it's good. Yeah, I'm playing. What was that, Fez? No, I'm just playing. Well, uh, let he me hear what you're you playing real about. Real I said that I, after this, I'm going to get your haircut with my usual, but this is fine. Good. Your old haircut you sucked, mean? dude. This is a huge improvement. I'm saying right now, he's killing it. I'm not, I'm not gonna do a bad job. He's killing it. St- shut up, Fez. Yeah, Fez, you're really being insulting to Barbershop Evan. No, 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 no. And he's he's a crew OG, so you're gonna have to stop. No, yeah. I know. It's, it's all good. I want, I want him to acknowledge that he is like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to my normal barbershop where I normally get my hair cut. And yet for whatever reason, 
you haven't set foot in that place in an alarming amount of time to where I'm over here doing this because if you give a shit about your hair yet, it got it done a long time ago. Yep. So now you want to go to the barbershop? Now, you don't give a shit about your hair or else we would see that. That's a great so, fucking point. Are, are, are you also racist against black barbers, Fez? I wasn't going to go before, but now this is No. Now, Danny, as a Latino, now, I know that fellow Latinos can be head. a little gotta, racist. So He's probably racist. You know, Bob's probably racist. Well, yeah, I think before we came in, I think I heard Fez say that he's like, I don't want to get my hair cut by no spade. Yeah, he yeah, did say that, saw. and that is an he didn't old say spade. Wrong. It was por- It was it was porch bucket. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, spade, man? Spade is like it's weird because that's like a that's a term they used to use like in the fifties. So it doesn't make sense that he would use it. But you know, Fez is a crazy. He's a weird guy. Yeah, Fez. He could he could reach back for some like Brooklyn nineteen forty nine cop it's, talk. It's old, very old. spade spook. Right. He called. <laughs> he always, you you said, said spook <laughs> too. He said spook. He said Moulignan like the Italians. Moulignan. Yeah, he said Moulignan like the Italians. And I was like, what? That was beautiful. That's so That was beautiful. Moulignan. I was like, whoa, dude. That sounds what? like a compliment. Why? Like, I was like, yes, we have a black man on the pod. Why are you calling him a Moulignan, dude? Fez, why did you use that word? Why did you say Moulignan? I mean, I said that. <laughs> 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 Fez is like, dude, he, it seems like he's on some shit, dude, but it's just Fez yeah, being Fez, Fez, dude. He's chill. <laughs> he's chill. I like him chill. That's good. You're, prob- you're not problematic, bro. I like when guys come into my shop and they don't say shit. They sit there and like, you know what I need? I need you to make your hair look good. And then and they leave and they hand me a wad of money and I'm I like, love that. Well, I thought you liked talking to him. Mm-hmm. When they talk back, yeah, I like talking to everybody. There when is, they talk back. Sure, if they just, <laughs> if they don't talk yeah, back. that's a problem. Great, yeah, there's, yeah, that's uh, a problem. There's, there's a chill, chill. There is this uh, thing like barber shop uh, barbers are considered guys that can be good at like stand up because of the fact that they're always talking to people yeah. and they're so very yes social. And no. uh, also, I'm an unofficial sociologist. You know what happens when that's you deal true, yeah. with people. 10, 15, 20 people a day, five days a week for 17 years. That's a lot of time, yeah. Yeah, what you do is, one, you you hear all the stories, you get crazy shit. Crazy shit. Also, you see patterns. And as much as people like to think that they're all special and unique, they're not. Really? I, oh, my God. If you have a legitimate problem at any point in your life, I know five guys who've had that problem, if not worse than you, way worse than you, that I can give you anecdotal. Cheese evidence. dick? Cheese dick, always. Fuck I, you, I dude. Why any, would you... T- I can give you anecdotal evidence. A guy about, with an uncircumcised penis who he doesn't wash it often and it becomes off, cheesy. that's on him. So... You're right. Uh, well, I agree. Hey, 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 It's hey. not... I wash Wa- it. Wash your dicks, gentlemen. I wash my dick. With or without skin, wash your dick anyway. This that goes for you, thing, thing, dude. Stop. Yeah, come on now. What, 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 what are we talking here? Wash your dicks. Wash your dicks, gentlemen. These... It's the least we can do. Yeah, the laser shaving and waxing. All right, we so barbershop. How many, how many fat fucking virgins have you gotten in the barbershop before? In, <laughs> or, in, a, in a alarming amount, sir. An alarming amount. Everybody has hair. <laughs> Everybody has so hair. So there's fat sir. virgins that have I hair. I cut the polies and the drug dealers. I cut every, the every police. Yes, I cut everybody. Everybody gets. Everybody gets the, exact the police. Thing. Do they have that? What do they get? What do the cops get? Like just a fucking buzz cut, dude. No. So what they do. Is what I do is I put a very small uh, sensor in the back of their shit, <laughs> and it, I use it to alert all the people when they inevitably are coming to bust them. I'm like, hey, hey, <laughs> Officer Johnson told me about a sting he's about to do. Yeah. I want everybody's information, and then I rat, I rat. I, see, yeah. I don't rat on my boys, but I rat on the cops. You ra- so you're working for the government. I rat on the cops. Yeah, exactly. I'm the opposite. not the government. The uh, you're the, what's working the for the opposite of a government informant. Yeah. I'm a street informant. You're a street like, informant. Yeah, <laughs> you're working for the mob. I, dude. I, I rat. I rat about the police to the criminals, and that um, that keeps my street kid up indefinitely. All right, I'm gonna Fez. I'm gonna give you this mic, and then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit down with Leo and just yeah. watch for a second. Work. This is we're, fun. We're coming around the mountain on this haircut yeah, here. Almost done. I mean, like for the most part, I mean, like the, like the, the mullet is. <laughs> Been it's did, looking did you, really good. Did you ever consent to this haircut, by the way, Fez? No, I did not. I don't remember him consenting to that. <laughs> he haircut. told me this is what he said <laughs> under no, he under did. his he breath. He, he sat down. He did. He sat down. Under his breath, Danny. Right. Under his breath, Danny. He was like, "Leo, uh, you're gonna pay me for the doing the haircut. I hope." And I was like, "Yeah, I'll give you." You should be bucks. paying barber shop. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> yeah, you should be paying a bar. The guy behind you. What the fuck, Fez? Yeah. 
the very least, you got to leave him a five star Yelp review, motherfucker. So, Leo, what do you have planned for the evening now that you've drank all this vodka? Shit, dude. I was going to go to this open mic, but I don't know anymore, dude. Actually, it's probably a good idea to go to that open mic Mm -hmm. and just go wild. I would encourage you to not take yourself to that open mic. No, no, I would Uber. It's only only 14 minutes. That's another reason why we should go to it is because it's only 14 minutes away. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Next time. Some other time. Um, Other than that, I probably just walk home to my house. It's a 30-minute walk. Okay. 35-minute yeah, it's just to get some extra steps. Here's I've already gotten how many steps today? Leo is just moving his mouth right now and making noises, but you know he's going to walk right outside, get in his car, and drive somewhere. You're wrong. You're 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 wrong because I am. I've I've grown as a human being, and I don't risk it. I don't risk it for the biscuit like that. I, like I used to. He's growing because of all the human growth hormone that's coursing through his veins right that's now. Right. He's that's right. Human being that's right. That's right. I had a really close call for a, a, D, a DUI, and I and I I'll never drive drug again. When did you have a close call with a DUI? It was uh, about t- t- two years ago. It was a wedding of my, uh, one okay. of my buddies. So it was. I didn't talk drunk, drunk to the podcast. <laughs> no, not one day. No, hmm. I was still risking it for the biscuit back then. But I had a such way. a close call. They made me get out of the car, do all the fucking thing. They didn't breathalyze me though, because I am a sharp tongued motherfucker. How drunk were you? I was very drunk. Deny, totally deny, deny. Wrong. They knew I was drunk. They knew I was drunk, but I was able to convince them that my eyes were red because of my contacts. And But I wasn't driving erratically. I was driving well. Why'd they pull you over? They pulled me over because I kind of rolled through a stop sign. <laughs> but I, I, you know, it was one of those California rules. I mean, you don't stop at stop signs, right? I do. No cop, no stop. Well, you, okay, so in California, that's what I was thinking. Dude, there are stop signs. It was close to my fucking house right here in Park LaBrea. It, it, it was weird. The, there basically are no traffic laws around here. I see that's people, what I'm saying. I yeah. live, we, like, I live right by a police station. I see people run the red light in front of the police station constantly, yeah. and I've never seen a cop throw on their lights. Exactly. Which, which pisses me off because I hate unsafe drivers and I know how dangerous it is, but they do not enforce traffic laws in LA. So a couple of, so I was a little tipsy. You know, I wasn't, I wouldn't, I was, I was hammered, but it was drunker like, than you are right now. Prob, uh, pretty close, yeah. but I was like not, no freeway driving. It was a, it was like a close drive. And I was just like, I don't even remember where I was coming from. That's how drunk I was. I do not remember where I was coming from. That's pretty sketchy. So when the guy pulled me over, I wasn't going fast. None of that shit. I don't have things to style yet. Cop pulled me over, Danny boy. And I was I was like, dude, I'm getting a DUI today. But I was like, but I remember the one rule that Armin gave me, which was do not ever tell him you drank. Yeah. So I continued saying no, 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 no. And it was like, dude, a lot. They made me get out and do the straight line test. I had to do the nose test. I had a, you know, I was talking to them. Both of them came over and they were trying to like get me to say it. They're like, hey man, like it's not a big deal if you had a couple of drinks. I mean, if you had a couple of drinks, well, you know, let's do the breathalyzer. It's not a big deal, you know? And I'm like, I haven't had anything to drink tonight, officer. And they're like, okay. I went through the exact same Smart. thing. That's literally. So if you just keep denying it, if they, they don't have a probable denying. cause to make you blow? Mm. Yes, they don't have the probable cause. I mean, I guess. I don't, I, I don't like know why don't, they didn't. Yeah, it, I don't know why they didn't make me do the the, the breathalyzer. Let's show you Fez. You, I'm like, sorry, Austin. We have our, we are yeah, revealing. We go back. Fez is cut. Fez. Dude, this looks fucking sick, dog. Fez. Fez, oh my God, no, dude. Those are the hand scissors. Bad lighting. Yeah, exactly. And, and a lot of alcohol. That's an incredible yeah, cut, bro. That was, worth, that, was worth, that, was, that was the best case scenario of a terrible situation. Yeah, that was a beautiful. It's a beautiful cut, man. Are you Jeff, kidding me? Let's lose that shirt before yeah, you take get the shirt off. all over my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Get get shirtless on the pod. It, it, What's the big deal? Your dude? back looks like a Serbian man at a public pool right get now. Get shirtless on the pod, dude. You're gonna have to do it for the boys. Just do it. Take your pod, take your fucking. Oh yeah, uh, god damn it! They, you got an undershirt. God damn it! Oh, Why do you have an undershirt, Fez? Why do you have an and undershirt? then just leave I that shirt right there on the ground. I thought only like Italians <laughs> from the fucking thirties wore undershirts, man. Why are you wearing an undershirt? I'm telling you, it's for the sweat. It's for the sweat, yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think you had one too. All right. <laughs> well, that Fez, is an undershirt, yeah. Do you feel like right now, if you had to go out and talk to a woman, you'd have more confidence? In what? In seducing her. Well, you mean guess having my hair like this? Yes. What do you mean? It looks fucking unbelievable. You look like you're straight out of like Grease Lightning, dude. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Say fucking thank you to Barbershop Evan. You, dude, I, I mean, no joke, bro. You look fucking great, dude. You look great. It looks really good. You look great. You look like you're gonna 
beat up a woman in a Hispanic trailer park. (laughs) 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 Dude, he really does, man. It's so much funnier because I'm drunk. That's why people need to have the two drink minimum. But follow the two drink minimum when you go to when you come watch me and Danny because everything is so much funnier. Do people you're... cheat the two drink? Yes, dude. Our fans will fucking be like, "Give me two water bottles." I'm like, uh, we do that when we go to club. I do that. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah. But have you ever, dude? If you ever, I mean, I don't. Know, what's the last time you drank at, at a comedy club? It's unbelievable. It's a good time, dude. It's everything is. I would say the thirty. I mean, for me and you, it might be like fifty percent funnier. Yeah, it literally is, man. It just everything is like. I don't know what it is. It's like you're drinking this serum that makes you understand comedy more. Although you're not, but it's like it it feels like that. Yeah, your inhibitions are down. You can laugh louder at a rape joke. I get it. I get it. All right, guys. Well, it's been the Leo and Danny show. It's been the Leo and Danny show. Follow Barbershop Evan. Rate his go. What what is it again that they need to do? Go to your Google. Go to uh, Yelp. Yes. Yelp. Trust Pilot. Evan's Barbershop. Oh yeah. You look great, Fez. Fez, dude, it looks fucking phenomenal, bro. Like, way better than it did before. You dog. need to be more excited, Fez. But continue. Bar- Barbershop mm-hmm. Evan. They're going to go look up Barbershop Evan on Google, on wow. Yelp. Champions. On Trustpilot. These guys, are gonna, they're going to dome a bottle of Kettle yeah, One. Yeah, we are. Fez, do you drink? I do. Yeah, you better get on some oh, of that Kettle Hey, one. take that, dog. That won't even get him his fingertips warm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, the rest yeah. of that bottle won't even get a little rosy finger in his hands. Yeah, he's got a lot rosy of like, hands. He's got a lot of that fucking, you know, a little extra, that extra weight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, Way to yeah. not waterfall no, no, it. But you're going to take exactly three of those. So that was the first one. one. Why do you drink? Do you see him drinking with both hands, Dino? Yeah. It's pretty. <laughs> That's a little yeah, it's Dino. <laughs> Dino would call it gay. Wow, and there we are. <laughs> now you look like a trailer park man. Yeah. That was the trailer park swing right now, dude. It sucks. I, dude, I hope a guy like Fez just never goes to jail, bro. Because oh my god, dude. I think honestly, there's well. a lot of dudes that look like how Jeff does right now that get bitches. Of course, he could get bitches, dude. Are you kidding me? If it, my brain in Fez's body right now, immediately I'd go outside. I'd, I'd say, give me three hours. And I'm getting my dick sucked, yeah. possibly having sex. Fez looks like he is here to fuck somebody up. He looks scary right now. He looks really <laughs> scary. Right? You're looking, 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 looking. Oh shit! Dude. I know he sucks at Aikido. His yeah. eyes are watery right now too, which makes him look scarier. Yeah, because he just took that fat swig. Also, oh, yeah. I don't know if you saw the fighting stance, but that was the uh, standard Irish fighting fighting Irish stance. Yeah, <laughs> he went old school. He went like the old come on, like the the forties. Yeah. 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 Don't appropriate uh, my shit. Like dude. the fighting the Irish, <laughs> like the. Uh, <laughs> Like the yeah, like the mascot for the uh, for yeah, Notre Dame. Yeah, the Notre Dame. Yeah, yeah the funny yeah, yeah. Good. That's old school. Yeah, he used to be put Guys, this, on hey, follow the Patreon. We have a bunch of characters on there. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. We do some wild stuff on there. We say anything. Um, you it's know, great. we got we do prank phone calls. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Follow the follow the Patreon. Leon Danny Show. Support me and uh, the boys. And um, thank you guys so follow much. Follow Fez on Instagram. Follow Fez on Instagram. He's the man. Follow Dino. Follow Dino. Follow Austin. Follow Barbershop Evan. Give him good reviews. Follow Danny Mullen. Barbershop underscore Evan. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, we love you guys. See you next week.